In this live stream, we are talking about some very exciting YouTube news that can affect you. We are doing some subscriber Q&A, possibly reviews depending on how the uh, stream goes, and I'm tooting my own horn with a big thank you to you for the 40,000 subscriber uh, milestone. And we're starting right now. This is how it is. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. With that out of the way, I'm hopping right into the chat and I'm going to, you know, basically say what is going on for the early roll call for the only the early folks. In the house, Jimmy Changa, what is going on? Inappropriate K-pop mom, nice to see you. Doug Houston YT, nice to see you. Chiba Gaming in the house, as always. Pale Rider TV, nice to see you, and thank you for the congratulations on the 40K. Sobe Natural, what is going on? Nice to see you. Adam Yaboa, nice to see you as well. Some early comers in the live stream. More people are coming in right now. Nerdy Explorer in the house. Guys, I'm serious here. If you have not checked out the Nerdy Explorer channel, you need to go there right now. He makes amazing cinematic content on his channel. I mean, his his it's amazing. So if, if you see his name there, definitely go over and uh, check him out. He makes amazing, 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 amazing content on his channel. Jericho YT, nice to see you. Gamernomics, what is going on? Nice to see you again, my friend. I've been having some fun talks on Facebook with him. Haley Beth, what is going on? Ghetto Box Man in the house. Tim's Corner, Beanie Draws. What is going on? Beanie Draws, man, we are just getting started right now. And I'm guessing, Anne Elizabeth, what is going on? Nice to see you. Eric Stone, what is going on? Thanks for the congratulations. I appreciate it. Melody Lane, thank you for the congrats as well. I appreciate it. Beanie Draws and Melody Lane, I actually just... Um, kind of sort of virtually met in uh, uh, an interesting way. Um, Tim Schmoyer was on a live stream, and he was mentioning in that live stream that he was going to be doing a uh, Patreon live stream afterwards. And I said, hey, I'm going to jump in on, on, this, on this live stream. I want to see what's going on over here. And let me tell you something. I was super impressed with what Tim has going on inside of his Patreon live streams. I'm actually going to duplicate it. Um, I just have to, you know, take a little bit of time to actually put it all together, but I love what he is doing um, inside of his Patreon, you know, having that that community. Basically what it is, is he has a Zoom stream set up, and he invites all of his Patreons in, and you just get this big grid of all of these creators and everybody's, you know, sharing ideas and people are asking questions and everybody's giving each other feedback. Razman's reality, what is going on? Nice to see you, my man. And everybody's getting, uh, giving each other this feedback. It is just really awesome what he has going on over there. And I think that with the community that we have here, we could also um, create something awesome. Andrew Khan saying hello from VidCon. Andrew, what is going on, my man? Hey, I have to tell you, with all of the photos and all of the videos and everything coming in from VidCon, man, it makes me, it makes, I'll be honest, I wish I was there right now. But, you know, I'm not, so, you know, hopefully I will see you guys in October um, for Vid Summit. I've already got my tickets for Vid Summit, and I'm sure you guys are going to be there for that as well. So I'm looking forward to meeting you guys um, there. So I just got something here saying that my stereo audio is messed up, and I think... That I may know why. Doo -doo 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 -doo. My stereo audio is messed up. Is anybody else feeling that? Is anybody else getting a, a, a weird stereo signal for my audio? I think the audio is fine. Hey, Nick. Good morning, Nick. Skeech Tech, what is going on? Nice to see you. Kill Creations in the house. Lily Tree, hello from England. Hello from Thailand, Lily. We're definitely on... 
very far sides of the pond. I, Paul Gaming, thanks. I appreciate it. High five, fist bump. Remember, Yod, hello. Mr. Peen, what is going on? Thanks for the kind words. I very much appreciate it. Audio sounds good, sounds good. Okay. Uh, the Computer Lab says, hey, Nick, I watched your Shiki Pie video the other day. That was interesting. Very cool. Nice to, uh, nice to hear or see that you uh, enjoyed that video. Self-publishing with Dale Roberts. Dale Roberts in the house. What is going on? You are just hearing me in the left ear bud. Always something with the, uh, with the live stuff. But what can you do? Okay, it should be fixing right now. That It should be coming through a little bit better. Now give me some confirmation if that worked or not because I didn't have it set on the mixed to uh, mono signal. There you go. Okay, we got it. Woo, success in the house. Thanks for the feedback. And here, that's the thing. Okay, a few things I want to get into here in case you guys have not seen it. Andrew, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know, and that's in part, you know, to you guys too. You know, the the tool that you guys have. That's Andrew, guys, just so you know, from uh, TubeBuddy. He's he's checking in from VidCon, from VidCon right now. And if you are at VidCon, definitely go and check out their booth over there because I'm sure they have one. Um, but that's Andrew. He's from TubeBuddy. And to be honest with you, if it wasn't for TubeBuddy, I don't know if I would be at 40,000 subscribers already. So I have a link to TubeBuddy down in the description of this video. If you're not familiar with TubeBuddy, make sure that you go down below this video and check it out. There's probably going to be a bunch of people in here saying how, yeah, right there's one, Melissa Lane saying that she loves TubeBuddy. So if you have not installed TubeBuddy yet, there's a link down in the description. They have a free version you can start with, and then you can upgrade whenever you get the chance to. Brian G. Johnson in the house. Guys, Brian G. Johnson, it looks like we're still on shoutouts before we get into this. Brian G. Johnson just released his book, Tube Ritual. There's a link to that down in the description of this video right now. So if you have not picked up this book yet, I know a lot of people that are in this chat probably have, um, but if you have not picked up this book yet, um, Brian is basically helping you learn to jumpstart your journey to 5,000 YouTube subscribers because, you know, it's getting that momentum that is important, and then you can grow from there. So Nerdy Explorer waiting for Brian's book. That's awesome. Okay, guys, so what I wanted to get into today, and thanks for all the kind words. You know, there's a lot of people in the chat saying, you know, congratulations on the 40,000. You're the best. Fist bump. You know, all this good, positive stuff. I love this. This is why I live stream. All of this lovely, lovely, in kind, wonderful feedback. You guys, you are the best. Okay, so here's what I want to get into today. First off, just in case you have not, um, you know, in case you're not signed up to the mail notifications, in case you're not, you know, looking into this stuff every day um, like I am, uh, YouTube, if you have just more than 100 subscribers. It started at 10,000. Now, if you have 100 subscribers or more, you should be able to live stream now on your mobile phone. They made it official. So the official announcement, 100 subscribers, you can now live stream from your mobile phone. If you don't know how to do that, there is a video to this um, or, or a tutorial on how to live stream from your mobile phone in the description of this video as well. So you can check it out down there to learn how to actually do it. Super easy. All you do is you open up the app, you hit live, and then you add a thumbnail, and you just get right into it. So super easy. Um, another thing that they have coming out, um, they are, if you make any type of VR content, um, they are releasing heat maps for your VR content. So you can see where, you know, kind of like um, right now, how you have the audience retention on videos, right, where you can see where people are dropping off and things like that. It's a similar thing, but it's a heat map. So what a heat map is, if you're not familiar with this, it's basically where it makes, um, think of it kind of like a weather person shows the heat of a country or something or an area um, through a satellite view or something like that. Basically, you know, you have your red spots where, you know, that's the spots that, you know, everybody is clicking on. And then you have the blue spots a little bit further out and so on, but, or, or that, that people are viewing. So in your, in your VR, um, videos, basically what it is that they're going to be rolling out is when you are looking around, when your viewers are looking around, it's going to let you know where on within your video where people are uh, looking the most so that you can make sure that you're focusing your content in the right places, which is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So another thing on the list, and this is exciting, but I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of worried about it and I'm worried about what's going to happen. Um, when they roll this out, but they are also going to be rolling out 
in their mobile app, YouTube is, that regardless of the ratio that you upload your video, they're actually going to adjust your screen to accommodate whatever ratio you put. So you're not going to have to worry about black bars and things like that in the sides or on the tops or anything like that. Like they're going to basically pull in all of, hey, we just got a new subscriber. Don Richards, if you are in this live stream right now, high five fist bump to you. Welcome aboard. But yeah, with the uh, with the ratio thing, the reason I'm nervous about that is because now people are going to just stop caring about the ratio and they're going to be doing portrait videos like crazy, which is cool. You know, I mean, I got to hop on board. I'll be honest. You know, I'm old school. You know, I like, I like, I'm at 88 channel, just subscribed as well. Welcome aboard. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm old school. You know, I like a nice, you know, 16 by nine ratio on a video. To me, that's high tech, right? So when I see that, you know, they're going to, they're going to make it to where it'll scale to square videos or it'll square to portrait videos or whatever, which it already does to portrait videos. Um, but it'll scale to anything. That it kind of scares me because I think people are going to, you know, stop stop doing as much 1080p. But, I mean, let's be honest. People are watching videos like this a lot. Maybe, I mean, I, I don't know an actual stat on it, but people are watching videos like this a lot. I prefer videos like this. But people are watching videos like this a lot. And, you know, they're making it happen. They're making it work. Thanks for the thanks for the kind words on the shirt. I've actually gotten this. Ooh, a few. Hey, Jenna. Uh, Jen is in the house from Jen Adventures TV, a.k.a. the Piano Girl. What is going on, Jen? Nice to see you. So I'm wearing this shirt today. I put this on for the live stream just because a few people mentioned it here. I've got to say it because I've gotten good feedback on this shirt. Um, in uh, the last video that I did with uh, Chicky Pie, I had this shirt on. And then another video I did, I had this shirt on. And people were like, you know, hey, I like shirt, I like shirt. So I was like, hey, I'm going to wear this shirt again and see if people still like it. So... I guess so. I guess you guys are digging this shirt. So, again, mobile live streaming. Video about that's in the comments. Um, YouTube is going to put the heat maps on the VR. The app is going to be stretching around like crazy, which makes me a little bit um, nervous. Now, we're going to take this a little bit further, and a very cool uh, bit of information has come out. If you are familiar with uh, Tube Filter, Tube Filter basically does deep, I'm, I'm talking super deep dive studies into the algorithm of YouTube. Win with Zach, what is going on? Thanks for the uh, wishes on the 40K, my man. I appreciate it. And win with Zach right there, guys. If you are into motivational, success, entrepreneurial driven content, definitely go check out uh, Win with Zach because he's sharing some good stuff over there and he is on a mission to help people. Anus Tube, just mentioned you, buddy. So, um, one of the things that have come out of this, I'm still digging through it because there's been some videos put out about it and, um, there's the actual, you know, information itself. So I'm still digging through it and I want to dig through it, you know, a few times before I, you know, start regurgitating a bunch of information. But what I've gotten from it so far is that <laughs> what I've gotten from it so far, let's see, you're already taken care of. Thanks, Nerdy Explorer. I appreciate it. Um, but what I've gotten from it so far is the ideal video length that they are finding, and this is all from information um, that they have taken from a ton of videos. They basically got access via their API that they normally use, and they got access from their uh, or from TubeBuddy anonymously, so that they have all of this data to basically take this information from. But basically, they figured out that videos that are seven to I believe it's thirteen minutes in length seem to outperform other videos. Velocity just subscribed. Velocity, what is going on? Welcome aboard. If you are in this live stream, just wanted to say, hey, give you a shout out. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for hanging out. But yeah, seven to 13 minutes, which is awesome. It's good information to know. From there, um, they've also said that click-through rate on your thumbnails and being able to hold them in your videos, as always, is also extremely important now more than ever. Chicky Pie is in the house. What is going on, Chicky Pie? Nice to see you in here. High five, fist bump for Chicky Pie stopping by. Guys, Chicky Pie is a Thai YouTuber. I just recently did a uh, collaboration video with her. So if you want to see what's going on in the Thai world, that's the Thailand YouTube world, then go click on Chicky Pie's username and, uh, and check her out. 
awesome, awesome stuff going on over there. If you want, if you want to see how to put on a show, right? If you want to see how to like just amplify yourself and and just put on a show like crazy, definitely go and check out uh, Chicky Pie. But that's my basic news for now. I'm going to actually be doing a video on the new study that came out um, with you know with the deep dive algorithm stuff. So um, keep an eye out for a video coming in the very near future on that. But I just wanted to go ahead. Brian G. Johnson says amplify. Woo! Yeah, dude, she amplifies like off the chain. Amplifies right. Uh, but yeah, like uh, this this new information that's coming out about about ranking your videos, what's important on YouTube right now and what's not. I'm going to be making a video about that um, coming up soon. I'm actually going to push some videos back so that I can go ahead and uh, get on that as well for you guys. So besides that, I want to get into some subscriber or viewer. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscriber Q and A. Go ahead and block this dude. There we go. Some su subscriber Q and A, so that we can, you know, answer your questions. So if you have any YouTube related questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section of this video right now. Oh yeah, I got them. Yeah, there's like there's like a handful in here. It's like we're getting attacked. Getting attacked. When was Zach says, can't wait for the video? Yeah, it's going to be good stuff. I'll be sharing it with you uh, earlier, actually. Like, as soon as I um, compile all the information together, Zach, I'll be sharing it with you um, directly, of course. Coach Dave says, I got you too. 40K people can't be wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Coach Dave. I appreciate it. Another congrats for the 40K, says June's Journal. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. So, yeah, what is my daily routine? Okay, I did not expect that one. So what is my daily routine? Says Tech A, T3CHA. My daily routine is basically I wake up, I see my girlfriend off to work. Um, once she leaves, then I will meditate. After I meditate, I will hop in the shower. Then usually I'll go grab a coffee. And then after my coffee is finished, then I go through the phone because I'll usually answer comments and stuff while I'm drinking coffee. And then after I, uh, after I uh, drink the coffee, and I'm finished with that. Sometimes I'll run to the grocery store. If not run to the grocery store, then I'll grab some food. And then I'll come home and then I'll just be here pretty much all day, uh, you know, in front of my computer, just trying to uh, make everything better. 1% better. Brandon Nankavell in the house. Wow, we're like star studded in here right now. Brandon Nankavell in the house. 1% uh, better. He says, do you feel the channel? Do you feel the channel limits your creative freedom? This channel? A little bit, of course, because I can't make necessarily, um, you know, uh, videos that are not unrelated to, or that are, yeah, that are not unrelated to the YouTube sphere. Technically, I could because I can make a video on how to make this type of video, just throw an introduction on it and then drop the body content in the middle and then close it all up or just make the body content part of the closing upside. But um, yeah, I, th I think it does limit me a little bit, but, um, you know, I enjoy making this kind of content also. So in that regard, you know, I think it's I think it's okay. Can you make a video about how to get Velocity asks, can you make a video about how to get a transparent chat and thumbnails, please? Can you make a video about how to get a transparent chat and thumbnails, please? Read the whole thing, read it twice. Yep. Velocity uh Velocity. Yes, I can. I believe I made I have an OBS video on my channel to where I talk about how to add chat. And I'm not sure, I'd have to go back and watch it again, but I'm pretty sure that I might have mentioned how to do the transparent chat as well, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I'll need to go back and look at that um, as well so that I can see. So really quick, I want to go ahead and mention, um, there's 130 people in here right now. That's a pretty good turnout. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. And I wanted to go ahead and mention, there are links down in the description of this video um, where I have for subscribe to my new channel for creators coming soon. What that is, is I am doing a new channel with my brother. It's going to be opening in four to six weeks. We're having a studio built for it. And basically it's going to be like my YouTube channel is more the growth side, right? The informational side, the, um, you know, the, the how to get results side of YouTube. 
The other channel is going to be more creator based. It's going to be more of the engineering side of what goes on behind creating content. There's going to be a lot of DIY stuff there. Um, there's going to be uh, interviews with other creators from all over the world. I'll be picking people out of my audience as well um, to have on the show. Um, Brian D. Johnson says Saturday morning with Nick. Yep, it's it's kind of like cartoons, right? I know when I was little, I used to you know I used to wake up and wrap myself in a blanket and go sit in front of the TV and watch cartoons. Right, the world's changed for sure. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Okay, Jen says that um, I did not make it about the transparent chat, and that she would like to know the transparent chat as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say now. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's like a little notification that pops up when there's a new subscriber um, on the channel. From that, um, I used uh, Streamlabs.com. And basically with stream, streamlabs.com, they also let you do the transparent chat. So you guys can check them out um, until I get around to making that specific video. You can check out streamlabs.com because they basically, it's the same thing, really. And it, but, but the way they do it is just a little bit easier. Owen Gamer just subscribed. That's the notification right there that I am talking about. Owen Gamer, what is going on? Nice to see you. Welcome to the chat. I see you saying hi there. What is going on? Nice to see you. Welcome to the live chat. Jen, no problem at all. So let's see here. Pagrant says, I would love to see Brian G and Nick Nimmin do a live stream together. That would be awesome. Two awesome YouTubers. Brian G knows that I'm open for it. I know Brian G is open for it. So we actually have, we've been, uh, Brian and I have been discussing uh, some ideas for some different types of collaborations that we're going to do because Brian and I talk all the time and we there's a lot of information that we share between each other about our YouTube experiences, a lot of, you know, deeper stuff. And we're we're trying to think of how to format some of that so that we can make videos about it in, in a collaboration format so that we can share some of those um, perspectives with you because, you know, a lot of it is stuff that that we don't really, you know, it's not necessarily about, you know, a system or not necessarily about, you know, hey, do this and then this is going to happen. It's more it's more about uh, the journey, you know, more about the struggles that you go through, more about, dude, awesome, what is going on? Welcome aboard. It's more about the, the um, you know, the, the mental side, the, the work side, the struggle side, the, you know, the, the journey. You know, it's about the journey. And we're, we're trying to think of how to package that so that we can add the most value um, for that collaboration. So I think it's going to be, um, it's going to be awesome once we, once we roll it out. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Hey, Nick, please give me a shout out. Beefy Tech, what is going on? Nice to see you. Crider Creative, Brian G. Johnson was great too. Thanks for the suggestion in live last week. No problem at all. I'm glad you are catching value from the live. Hey, Nick, when I upload a trailer, I got 15 plus subs. It's amazing what a trailer does. Absolutely, Justo. Um, yeah, having a trailer is definitely beneficial. Um, depending on what it is that you want to do with your channel dictates the type of tra trailer that you should have. Um, on my other channel that I don't really update anymore, um, with that one, I have an awesome channel trailer on it. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's got the cinematic music and stuff. I wish Nerdy Explorer would have shot the footage, actually. But it, it's, it's got some cool footage in it. And uh, for that type of channel, that trailer fits. For my channel um, here... Instead of using a trailer, I use a video that performs well as far as watch time is concerned. It also generates um, leads for me from my email list. And because of that, I have that video there as my trailer. And so that video is constantly um, sending me new signups to my email list so I can stay in better touch with everybody. Crimson Rage says, Nick, can you help me with Sony Vegas 14 graphic settings? I am using Sony Vegas 12, but I'm guessing that it is probably the same Crimson Rage. Um, what is the problem that you are um, that you are having? Giovanni Hale says, Nick, uh, let's see here. Let me go find that one. Let's see here. Giovanni, Giovanni sorry, it's Hale says, um, Nick, how do you feel about the conversation at VidCon yesterday about the Facebook video creator app. I think it's awesome. Um, I think anything where creative people can make something and put it out into the world, be it on Facebook, be it on YouTube, be it on Instagram, be it on Periscope, Snapchat, Twitter, 
you know, wherever it is, when if you make stuff and you are putting it out into the world and platforms where a lot of people are hanging out are making, e making it easier for you to do that, I think it's fantastic. Um, as far as the competition with YouTube is concerned, pretty sure that just like right now, the videos that are on Facebook from that app are not going to rank and therefore not going to bring you long-term traffic from your efforts. However, the difference is with Facebook, it's easier to share stuff, right? It's a, t a million times easier to share stuff so you can catch a lot of traction that way in some cases. But as far as actually making a video, having that video show up in search on YouTube that's constantly going to drive you traffic, having video show up in Google that's constantly going to drive you traffic, having that video show up in Yahoo, in Bing, and everywhere else that's going to constantly be driving you traffic. Facebook isn't doing that right now. They are not. Uh, basically, you upload a video, a video to Facebook, it has its life cycle, and then it kind of dies out. It's not something that's just constantly, you know, flowing, flowing people in. So because of that, you know, the, the, let's see here. Yes. Anyway, you're great. That's funny. Um, but the, uh, with, uh, Facebook doing that, um, you know, because it doesn't have that long-term thing. I think it's cool because, you know, it's another way to get content out there. But, uh, uh, you know, again, I think YouTube trumps as far as, you know, being able to always have those videos uh, showing up in search, which is, which is extremely, extremely powerful. Yankees Outdoor Adventure says, I wish YouTube had a category of videos from creators with under 500 subscribers so I could just look at new videos. That would be a cool option. Um, there are actually websites, um, Yankees Outdoor Adventures. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what they are, um, but there are websites that do kind of filter that a little bit. But, you know, another thing to uh, think about also in, in that regard is you can just search, right? You search for whatever it is that you want to search for and just just filter it by upload date. And then that way it's not going to it's not going to be basing everything on relevancy and channel authority and all that stuff. It's going to be basing it strictly on upload date instead of instead of the default search metric. So that way it will it will show you pretty much everybody instead of limiting you to it'll open you up to a bunch of new creators, is what I'm getting at. Okay. Um, let's see here. Lovely Kid Japan. Okay, Nick, I've got a big question. I like big questions. Me and my YouTube friends was talking about that our videos views freezed after some hours, maybe eight hours. Is something happening with YouTube? No, nothing is happening with YouTube. What is probably happening in that case is your target. Uh, I, I don't know if you're making your videos in, in English or I don't know if you're making them in Japanese or what you're doing, but there's a few different things that could be happening in that case. One is your videos not performing well, basically meaning that when they send people to your videos they're not performing well they're not holding them they're not taking further engagement or at least not in mass and because of that you know it kind of slows down your video being pushed out that's one of the things that they were actually talking about in that um, study that I was telling you about earlier is they were talking about how all of that works as well which you know it, it's the same as we've been saying for a long time basically you know if if, if your stuff comes up somebody if, if there's three thumbnails this is the example they gave if, if there's three thumbnails and somebody clicks on one of your competitor thumbnails, well, that's going to be bad for you and the other two thumbnails on the page, right? But if somebody clicks on your thumbnails, then on the next page load, then you're more likely to um, show up there as well and be suggested and, you know, things like that. So that's kind of, that, that's kind of my understanding of that so far. But again, I'll be, I'll be going over that again in the, uh, in the video that's going to be coming out um, about that iPaul Gaming says, hi, Nick, best upload amount for very, very new beginner YouTubers as much as you can. Upload as much as you can. And the reason for that is you want to practice. The more you practice, the better off you're going to get. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm glad you said that. Here's what we're going to do. Let me load this up real quick. I'm going to pull up my first video that I uploaded here to YouTube. And I'm going to show you the difference. Right, because a lot of new YouTubers are like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, and I have to, you know, it's got to be this way, it's got to be that way. I'm going to show you the first video that I uploaded to this channel here um, on YouTube. Let me get it connected here with a display capture. Will this work? Yeah, I think it will work. Okay, so I'm going to take you into the twilight zone here just for a second, and then we will move right into the background here. So, this 
is the first video on my channel. You know what, I'm actually going to, give me a second here. Uh, let's see here, how can I do this? We got the display capture. Let's go ahead and move my webcam up because I want to, here, let me turn that off. So I'm actually going to display this a little bit differently here. Let me move all of this up here to the top just so that nothing is, is you know, kind of, so I'm not messing all of the uh, stuff up here on that. We got the display capture popping up here. Okay, webcam, we'll make this just a little bit shorter. And let's give this a shot. Okay, there we go. Okay, so basically, this is my first video that I uploaded here to YouTube. I'm not sure if you can hear this or not. You know, I'm gonna check and make sure that my desktop audio, there we go. This starts getting some weird feedback or something. Uh, let me know. For all, so that you can be comfortable putting yourself in videos starting but right now. If you look at this, right, Showing you can see online videos can be how intimidating because well, you're putting yourself on the internet and on the internet okay for every handful of cool people that you can okay basically what was going on here right the way that i used to do this is i used to um run off of a script right so basically that what i would do is i would read the script right i would say okay this is the line that i have from the script so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to read this particular line and then I'm gonna say this particular thing, right? So basically I'm gonna read this line, then I'm gonna look at the camera and I'm gonna say this particular line. Hey, Johnny and Bob were walking down the street. And this, or hey, Johnny and Bob were walking down the street, right? I used to do it that way. And because of it, you can see how stiff I am, how un, um, I'm just not excited. I'm just like reading it. And in my mind, I'm trying to think of, you know, hey, am I saying the script right, right? And I'm trying to say the script, I'm trying to think of if I'm saying it right, and all of that stuff. And this is kind of like a read and recite um, way of doing it. Basically, it's going to give you a hard time. That part is inevitable. Right? Everything it's still else, me. Here are some things to keep in but mind. But everywhere we look, it's extremely we dull, right? I mean, this video still got like a, you know, 51% audience retention on it, but it's extremely dull. Like an and another thing I did, right? And I thought themselves. that it was clever is basically later in this video that most people first, here, watch, watch this just for a second. Aren't even going to be thinking about you because they're watching your content to be entertained or educated, not to judge you as a person. Even if they did, you wouldn't know it unless they left a comment, and you can delete comments. If you're uncomfortable hearing or seeing yourself on video, trust me, you're gonna get used to it. After you edit a handful of videos starring yourself. Like me, when I watch this, I don't know about you, but when I watch this, I wanna go to sleep, right? I don't, I don't, know, if, I don't know if you have a, a, a similar feeling or not, but for me, when I watch that, I kind I I, I want to go to sleep, right? Because it's just so like, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and I just not just not feeling it really, right? So for me, the the transition that has taken place, and this is all about about uh, this is all about if your how often you should upload to answer that question, right? For the for the new person. <laughs> oh man okay so basically when when in that first video here's the deal right i'm gonna give you some insight into that when i first started making videos on youtube um when i when i had that video i had some things going on in my life i was having a lot of the similar struggles that a lot of people have when they start making videos right basically i was i had this thing in my head what if somebody sees it that i don't want to see it will i be embarrassed what if my present sucks what if somebody says something bad what if it's not good what if people don't what if nobody finds my video right I had all of these things that I was dealing with and when I was putting that video together basically what I did is I said okay I'm basically going to talk to myself here and I'm going to basically walk myself I'm going to overcome these things through my script and I said okay I'm going to mention these things and I'm going to basically give the the opposing reasons you know, like if these are my, are my, the things that I'm not comfortable with, I'm going to give the opposing, the opposing reasons why I should be comfortable with those things. And I'm going to make that my first video. So in doing that, you know, I, I had, you know, I was breaking through personally, but my actual presentation itself was pretty lame, right? Like everything looked good. 60 second success. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
the the everything looked good, sounded good, and all of that. But but as far as the actual content, the 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 rhythm of the video, the momentum of the video, right? Like that part of it is just a nightmare in that video. If you compare that, if you compare that video to the videos that that are there now, um, the videos now they're a gazillion times better. And the reason for that, to go back on on that on the uh, question there, I think it was uh, Crimson Rage that that asked that question. I, I can't remember, but um, you know, to to answer that question, pr- make as many videos as you can so that you can actually practice the art of making videos. So that you can practice. If you're doing presentation stuff, you can work on your presentation. If you're doing animation stuff with voiceover, you can work on your your animation skills. You can work on your voiceover skills. The more that you create, Zandroid, what is going on? Nice to see you. The more that you create the better off you're going to be. The the more that you are going to to learn, the the better you're going to create in general. So make as many videos as you can to answer that question. Um, Andrea's story, forevermore, I use Sony Vegas. Um, the version that I use is Sony Vegas 12, and I like it. You know, I haven't upgraded yet uh, to 14. I also use Adobe Premiere from time to time as well. But my main, the, the stuff that I do my videos on is uh, Sony Vegas. The number that is key for uploads each week depends on the type of content that you're making. Um, studies are suggesting that you want to, if you want a, a decent rate of growth on your channel, that you should be uploading three times per week. But again, that depends on your content, right? Like some, you know, Kurzik stat, for example, that particular channel they upload once a month, and they've got like 4 million subscribers. So, you know, t- take take all of that for what it's worth. Um, which, cam- which Canon camera should I get? I'm getting one soon. Um, I personally use a 70D. I have some friends that use a Canon 80D. So if you are getting a camera, um, there's those. And I think the, is the GX7 a Canon? I think that's a Canon as well. So you might want to look into um, into that as well. My zodiac sign, I am a Pisces, Gamernomics. Let's see here. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate you. Thank you, iPaw Gaming. Actually, I'm confused with what name should I go with or must say stay with this name only. Technical Room, to answer your question on what name you should go with, um, I have a video about how to name your YouTube channel. You might want to check that out. If you go to my channel page, you'll see it in there somewhere. Um, when it comes to naming your channel, one, that's a very important thing because you are basically creating your brand, right, with that name. That's how people are going to get to know you. That's how they're going to search for you. That's how they are going to find you uh, when they're looking for you by that name. So you want to make sure that you use something for the sake of branding that is kind of unique to you. So if technicalroom.com is available, then I would grab that. If Technical Room on Twitter is available, then you're good. If Technical Room on uh, you know, all the social platforms, if you can get it everywhere, then it's definitely a, uh, positive. Tyler plays vlogs. If you are watching this live stream right now, welcome aboard. I saw that you just subscribed there with the notification. Welcome aboard. Miss Dimples Beauty, nice to see you. You finally got here this week. I am well indeed. I hope you are also well. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Okay, Blaze Plays, all good, take care. And make it all the same on all of your social media, says Jessica Mama Faust. Absolutely. that You know, that's really important because, you know, a lot of people will make a YouTube channel and they won't do any research into, um, you know, if that name is available on other things, right? And because of it, you know, you go through all this time and effort of, you know, putting a channel together, making graphics for everything, or ordering graphics for your logos and all of that stuff, and you get your YouTube channel together, and you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm going to go, and I'm going to pick up the Twitter and the Instagram and everything else. And then you go, and some guy has the Twitter account that he hasn't used since, you know, since uh, since Twitter came out. And then you have the Instagram account that they haven't updated for, you know, two years. And, you know, you're like, oh, man, this was such a good name. Now I can't get it on anything. Of course, in that case, you know, you can add YT or official or, you know, uh, videos or, you know, whatever at the end of it. But it's still, you know, it's an inconvenience. So the better that you can make your name right out of the gate, the more available places that you can get it, the better off you are. Um, I'm going to show you here. Let me pull it up on my screen and I'll show you a website. 
that if you are naming your channel or any YouTube project, you're naming a podcast, you're naming anything, let me pull this on my screen real quick. If you're naming anything, this website is fantastic. It's namechk.com, right? And on namechk.com, basically what it's going to do is it searches all of the social media platforms and it lets you know where your name is or is not available. So let's say in your case, right, uh, technical room, right? I'm going to put those together as one word here and I'm going to click go. And then what it's going to tell me is it's going to tell me the .com is taken, but all of these other extensions are available. It's going to tell me that it's taken on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Blogger, Google+, which means that you hopefully have those, but it is not taken on YouTube, which also means that you're probably waiting in order to claim the custom URL for that, which is cool. Um, you know, Twitch, I would go ahead and grab it on Twitch, of course, um, just in case you end up doing live streaming later. Reddit, um, WordPress, Pinterest. You know, like any place that you think you might be sharing your content, Tumblr, um, Flickr, depending on the type of content that you're making, you could, you could put pictures up there to try to drive traffic to your YouTube channel. Um, anything that's relevant to you and what you're creating, go and, and secure um, those accounts as, as, fast as, you, as fast as you can. Melody Lane, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you are finding some value here as well. Um... Let's see here. Display capture off. Jimmy Changa says, Nick, I just started my channel on pop culture variety such as anime, collectibles, and gaming. What's a good strategy to get discovered in my niche? Of course, hopping on trending traffic uh, topics is going to be your, 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 your path to take because there's always something happening in pop culture. The downside is everybody's covering everything that's happening in pop, pop culture. So your competition is huge. So you really have to make sure that you're optimizing your videos correctly so that people can find them and so that you're, so that you're showing up in you know, suggested videos and things like that um, as well. I would also try to go for the shock value and uh, just make your thumbnails outrageous. Of course, you know, a little bit clickbaity, but go ahead and, and make sure that you're delivering on, on the thumbnail also. So if you have like an outrageous thumbnail, make sure that your content is delivered in a way that that the content itself is outrageous um, also. But yeah, for, for your case, if you're doing anything pop culture, hopping on trending topics is is definitely the uh, the way for you to, to roll on that. Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, Chiba Gaming says right now, Dragon Ball Super is trending. So if you're in the gaming space, Dragon Ball Super would be a great thing to hop on, um, according to Chiba Gaming. <clears throat> Skeech Tech asks, do you have any tips for small YouTubers? Absolutely. Small YouTubers, because you're just starting out, there's so much to learn. There's so much that you kind of have to get your head around, so to speak, as far as YouTube is concerned. Try to, you know, on, on my channel, on all the channels in my sidebar, um, try to learn as much as you can about creating the content and what I mean by that is like how to structure your videos, how to make people familiar with your branding and all of that stuff. Um, learn how to do that. That's extremely important. And learn how to rank your videos in search and, excuse me, and learn how to properly share your content on other social media um, websites off of YouTube to try to drive traffic to YouTube or to make content natively for those platforms to expand your brand onto those platforms as well. But for a small channel, it's really important that you think of your your content, not just as YouTube content, but as a brand that you need to make people aware of, right? So if your, if your stuff like, you know, if Skeech Tech is what you are running with for your name, right, then you need to spread Screech Tech out into as much stuff as you can that is relevant to the content that you are creating. So like for me, in my case, right, with this channel, with me on this uh, on this channel, you know, for me, it's good for me to get on like podcasts and things like that. So, you know, I'm constantly trying to like network with people and things like that to expand my reach that way. Um, so, in your case, you know, just starting out as a as a small channel, make content the best that you can, learn as much as you can about YouTube, how YouTube actually works, and how you can use YouTube and how it works to your advantage. You can also go through the YouTube Creator Academy, 100% free, doesn't cost you anything. And they basically take you through a very easy to consume step-by-step -step 
uh, course, essentially, giving you insight into how to use their platform. So also go through that. It's very important. Like in most cases, you know, of course, there's always situations where, you know, there's people are out of the mold, so to speak. But it's it's really important that you um, learn right? That you learn how to grow on YouTube. You learn how to present your videos. You learn how to edit and things like that. Super important. The computer lab says, are you using the Canon 70D now? No, I am not. I'm using a Logitech C922 webcam. My 70D is right over here. I've done some live streams with my 70D. It, it's, it turns out great. It looks, it looks fantastic. Um, but this is just easier. You know, I'll just say what it is. It's just easier. So I use this, um, instead for the new channel. And I'll go ahead and say real quick, also, if you have not subscribed to that yet, I have a link to it down in the description. Um, it's going to be opening in about four to six weeks. But on the new channel um, for our shows, because we're going to be interviewing people, we're building a studio for it. So we're going to be interviewing people, and we're going to be doing live shows um, from there as well. So in that particular studio, we're going to be using the um, Nikon 70D. We have a couple of those, and we're going to be using um, webcams, possibly. And we're going to be using uh, the Canon XF100s, which I actually have if I move out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I actually have one of those uh, sitting. It's kind of, yeah, you can't really see it because it's uh, hidden by the lights back there. But, but yeah, so we're going to be using, uh, you know, a bunch of different cameras for that because you can use them. If you're wanting to stream, if you're wanting to live stream with your DSLR camera, there is software called SparkoSoft. And with that software, they actually let you control your DSLR camera so that you can use it as a um, streaming resource as well. Right now, what I'm looking for, if anybody in the chat knows this, let me know. What I'm looking for right now, and I've sent some emails to, to help from some people that are specialists in live streaming. Um, but what I'm trying to find out right now is what I need in order to connect all of my cameras in one location to where I can, where I can basically switch... Uh, Jessica Mama Faust, yes, the new channel is Creator Insights. So that I can, um, I know it's like a box that I have to get or something like that, um, to where I can basically switch between um, all of the different, um, all the different cameras. Which is going to make for a, a, an awesome live show. I'll, I'll probably, once we get that uh, built, I'll probably do a lot of these live streams um, from there as well, just because it's going to be, it's going to be wicked. Um, let's see here. Cricket, Red Rocket TV, what is going on? Nice to see you. Thank you for the congratulations. I appreciate it. Razman Reality says, Nick is 100% right. Practice makes perfect. I just got a new camera. First one, white balance was too. Uh, second, which I deleted, was too high, but now it's perfect. Yeah, see, that's the thing with practice, right, is learning and fine-tuning your, your presentation, fine-tuning your gear, fine-tuning your skills, fine-tuning all of it into an awesome experience for the people that watch your videos. Okay, let's see here. Ann Elizabeth says, Eric Stone, try recording outside on quiet days with a dead cat, or better yet, in your car. That's sort of a genre by itself. You can get great lighting. Yeah, cars. Um, actually, Gamernomics and I were talking on Facebook the other day. Jessica Mama Foss, thank you. Welcome aboard to the new channel. Um, yeah, uh, Gamernomics and I, to uh, Thomas, w we were speaking about... Um, Recording in cars. The other day we were talking about that and so, you know, saying if you're doing like voiceover stuff, that recording in a car is is awesome for that because you know it's it's that you know it's that quiet controlled environment as long as you're not you know sitting in traffic or you know something crazy like that. Okay, let's see here. Miss Dimples Beauty says, Nick Nimmin, I would love for you to review my channel. How would I go about this? I'll tell you what, because this is a forty thousand subscriber special live stream today. I tell you what, I'm actually just, I'm going to go there right now. Miss Dimples Beauty, what do you think of that? How does that work out for you, my friend? Okay, now with these with these um, quick channel reviews, basically what I do is I just give like an overview of, of the presentation that I see and a few, you know, I give you a few pointers based on, you know, what I see when I'm, when I'm looking at the channel. So, um, of course, this is not an in-depth, and I just want to go ahead and say this because I get some slack for it from time to time. From time to time. Um, I want to uh, just make it clear that this is not a full in-depth channel evaluation in any way, shape, or form. Um, the, any reviews that I do is a, just a, a basically a, a quick overview or glance um, at the channel with a few tips. 
So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at Miss Nipples Beauty and Lifestyle. New videos every week. Miss Nipples Beauty and Lifestyle basically says that you do beauty and lifestyle videos, which is fantastic. New videos every week. Also awesome. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to you as well. Um, you have a channel trailer. That is good. You are using playlists, which is also good. Um, one thing that I would do is right now you have popular uploads on your channel. One thing that I would do is you have created playlists, popular uploads, and uploads. That's great, but I would also feature your content for your viewers. So, for example, if the videos in this particular playlist do well, then I would make these videos a horizontal playlist somewhere in here and go ahead and put in a description for the playlist. I'm not sure if you'd put, hold on, let me see here. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, yeah, you put uh, you put descriptions in there. It doesn't look like that was a very optimized description because you say, here's where you'll find my themed uh, Poundland basic haul videos. I love to do Poundland haul and joy. Um, for this kind of stuff, you want to make this enticing because when things like this come up in search, um, it's really important that, the inf that you use the space that you have here um, for... Basically, you want to word this to where it's enticing for people to um, click onto your um, into your playlist if it if it ends up coming up in search because playlists do um, do rank. So that's the first thing is to make sure that you are optimizing that correctly. Um, your channel header was good. Um, your thumbnails, I would definitely, and I'm real strong about this, you know, because visual authority is very important. If your channel looks pro, people are going to give you a little bit more time. And they're going to they're going to consider watching your content a little bit more the more pro that your channel looks. Um, this is visual authority. Basically, what it means is that you know if your header looks pro, your thumbnails look pro. When your video starts, you know everything looks as pro as possible. That that makes a huge impact on if people are going to give your content uh, a chance or not. So I would definitely try to dial in your thumbnails so that they look a little bit more um, pro as well. I mean these work. Because, you know, you can see that it's it's you, right, which is cool. But another another important thing that I always talk about in these live streams is when you are putting your thumbnails together, like with these, you know, you can see you in all of these, which is good. But I would definitely add something to these because, you know, you're not all up in there. You know what I mean? So like this one, for example, you know, there's a chance that if this video came up and suggested or popped up on a homepage or something that the people that are already subscribed to you, um, or people that, um, you know, are already into your content where this gets suggested to them because of their viewing history or whatever. Um, when that pops up, you want them to be able to be able, what am I talking? Be able. <laughs> you want them to be able to be able, not able. You want them to be able to recognize, um, your content as, um, your content. So in a situation like this, where you're not showing your face, that's where having like a tiny little, element on here, a tiny little graphic element would really come in handy to let them know that this is your um, content. My channel is a fun and friendly place where I love to talk about beauty. Okay, like this is another thing where um, optimizing it is important, right? Like here in your description, you have my channel is a fun and friendly place where I love to talk about beauty, makeup, hair care, skincare, bath products, jewelry, nails. I also feature home wear and health now and again. Um, this is another place where it's good to put in like, um, instead of my channel is a fun, friendly place where I love to talk about, right, beauty, I would, I would rephrase all of this to put it more in the side of the, of the viewer because they have to read through all of this. And, and remember, we're talking to YouTube here. Attention spans are real close to non-existent. So you want to move all of this stuff, the viewer benefit, right? Um, I would do like videos about beauty, makeup, hair care, skin care, bath products, jewelry, and nails, or you know, I, I uh, uh, sharing beauty, makeup, healthcare, skincare, bath products, jewelry, and nail advice tutorials. You know, however you want to word that based on you know the content that you're making. But basically, I would utilize this area more. And the reason for that here, I'll just show you right here. It's funny it worked on your homepage, but this happens in the comment section. This happens. What I'm getting ready to show you it happens in the comment section. It also happens in search results. Man, this showed up a second ago. Hold on. There we go. Okay, if you look here underneath the red subscribe button, you see the text here, right? You see the text where it says that, um, you know, basically it just gives the information about the channel. 
that's the information that you want to be as optimized as possible because when people hover over your stuff, right, when they hover over and they're wanting to see what this, what your channel is about, you want this information right here to be as enticing as possible. And the reason for that is because you want them to click. You want to win that click. You want to get them into your channel and you want them to consume your content. So you have to utilize all of the features in YouTube in order to get them to your channel in order to, you know, to, to give your viewers or your potential viewer a chance to look at your content. So I hope that was helpful for you. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. I got an idea. Anyone like me and excited about a new video? You worked hard. Want to watch mine and I'll watch yours. Video, really good tips. Yeah, it's not the best way to do that. Uh, Sivia Nautical, Nick Nimmin, could you do me a favor and check my channel out? Would love any advice on how to improve my content. Dollar Dude, hey Nick, went from zero to a thousand subs in one month and a half. Thanks to yours and Brian G's advice. I'd love a review to make sure I'm not throwing away any potential views or subs. <clears throat> let's see here give me just a second guys I'm reading through the comments here to see uh, what's going on see if we are going to do more reviews to see if we got more conversation Aaron Jemison says great advice Nick you also look at how the videos are ranking and provide some more on site on how to do that can you also look at how the videos are ranking and provide some more insight on how to do that um, Aaron that's more stuff that I do in my actual in-depth channel evaluations as I do that because for each video, I mean, of course, you know, there's there's actually ranking the videos, the 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 basics behind that. But um, on the per channel basis, that particular option is something that I actually save for my in depth stuff, so I can make it specific um, per channel. Because you know, there's some things that I would recommend to her channel, for example, that wouldn't necessarily apply to your channel, and because of that, that's where the uh, that's where the deeper evaluations come in. Um, let's see here. Nick, can you suggest for me how to grow my channel? Absolutely. Clash with Mr. Um, make content that people are looking for and make content the best that you possibly can with what you have to work with and do it on a regular basis. Do it a lot and interact with your community. Learn how to optimize your videos for search so that you can be on the other side of searches. Hey, Nick, a review for my channel. Let's see here. Hi, Nick. I have a channel and I'm not doing so good. I'd appreciate a review. <laughs> Fun for days. What is going on? Nice to see you. Please re review for my channel. Nick, can you suggest for me how to grow my channel? Yep, did that. Um, got an idea. Anyone? Okay, yeah. If a YouTube has over a million subscribers, are they making good money? Um, it depends on... Uh, this This question is from John uh, Rondu. He says, if a YouTube channel has over 1 million subscribers, are they making good money? It depends on the channel. It depends on where they are located. It depends on... Uh, how much they're monetizing their stuff. Um, some channels are making bank, you know, with a million subscribers. Other channels are not doing so well. There was actually a uh, an article that came out six months ago, maybe a year ago, that uh, there was this 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 uh, girl that had a YouTube following and apparently it was a huge YouTube following. I'm not sure if she has quite at a million yet, but it was a huge YouTube following, and I guess she didn't monetize, and she was a waitress. And she basically had people coming into her jobs because she was essentially, you know, YouTube famous. So she had people coming into the different jobs and she had to keep changing locations that she worked in because people would come in and they would hang out all day, you know, just trying to like hang out with her and talk to her and all that stuff because she was YouTube famous. And uh, basically she had to hold down a waitressing job or a bunch of different waitressing jobs and other jobs so that she could pay her bills because YouTube wasn't cutting it. So, you know, like in that situation, she wasn't monetizing. She was just making content because she loved to make it. And Karen, Karan, welcome aboard. High five fist bump. You happen to be in this live stream right now. It is nice to see you. Welcome to the pate. Welcome to the pate. Let's see here. White Boy Reacts, I looked at your channel. I don't know what it's about. Cleared that up. Nick Nimmin, uh, could I be reviewed next? It looks like we're going to have to start doing some reviews. Hey, can you say what's wrong with my channel? Red Rocket TV. Let's see here. She was on that documentary. I remember that documentary. I missed that conversation. Nick, I do re reviews on music gear and reviews on RV accessories. I'm a full-time traveling musician in a bus. I was told to stick to one channel. Yes or no? Um, Eric, to answer your question, if you, if you should stick to one channel, 
where you do music re gear, uh, music gear and reviews on RV, RV accessories. Um, if you're going to stick to one channel, you can do that. But just keep in mind that the people that are into music reviews probably are not as much into reviews about RVs. So what I would do is if you're going to stick with one channel as I would focus, I would pick which one you're going to roll with and do that. You know what I mean? Like I would, I would basically pick your topic and roll with that topic instead of doing both. Um, if you are going to, to have both on there, I would suggest on a separate channel for the other one, just so that, you know, so that each uh, batch of content has their place. But here's the thing. Focus is extremely powerful and focus is extremely important as well. So, the amount of time, and, and I'm just throwing this out there, the amount of time, let's say that you focus on music gear reviews. The amount of time that you would spend on your music gear review channel and the amount of time that you would spend on your RV review channel, if you just put all of that effort towards your music gear or all of your music gear effort towards your RV accessories, then basically you're doubling up your efforts on that particular type of content. And that can be extremely powerful because when you're doing that, what happens is the communities where you share your content and things like that, they get to know you better because you're in there more, you know, sharing your stuff, interacting in those communities and things like that. They get to know you better. They'll, they're, it's easier to get them to come and watch your content and things like that. Also, the people that are watching your videos are getting more content from you because you're putting out more content. Instead of doing, you know, two a week on the music channel and two a week on the RV accessories channel, you can do four a week on the music channel or for a week on the RV accessories channel. So you can basically focus on one and just grind it out on that particular channel and become that person for, you know, it's, you know, Hey, Eric Stone, Hey, have you seen Eric Stone's reviews? You gotta, you know, you definitely, if you want, if you want to see like a real good music review, you head over and you check out Eric Stone, right? Like that's what you want to go for. You want to, you want to end up being that person down the road. So, so I personally recommend that you focus on one topic and you focus on one channel until you get your momentum rocking on that one channel. Once your momentum is rocking on that channel, that is going to open you up as long as you're monetizing properly. That's going to open you up to to be able to, you know, transition into, you know, creating more content, doing other channels and things like that. Uh, let's see here. Coach Dave says, Nick, for your multiple cams, have you tried mini cam? Yeah, mini cam is great for doing it with, um, thanks for the suggestion, Coach Dave. I appreciate it. Mini cam is good for um, webcams. But the problem that I'm having is, Eric Stone, no problem, man. I'm glad that it was helpful for you. Um, the problem that I'm having is being able to connect everything. Like, as an example, um, with... Like if I want to connect my Canon XF100 as a webcam, like there's something, it, it's like a, one option, is it's like a black magic uh, something or other box that I can put in the middle, basically. So the feed would go from my XF100 into the black box, into the computer, and then it would be controlled that way. Um, but I'm trying to find a way to bypass that if I can. I would love for everything to be software-based. Lovely Kid Japan, my pleasure. Let's see here. I don't know what to do my first video about. Livia Maznicker. Your first video should be about something that you enjoy. You know, um, you know, like I said earlier in this live stream, my first video was was basically me talking to myself. You know, I was I did it in a way that it was, you know, talking to the viewer, but it was me talking to myself about how to overcome the problem of camera shyness and all of the struggles that you have with that. Right? So for you, you know, whatever particular things that you are wanting to talk about, the things that you're interested in, make videos, make videos about that. Uh, let's see here. The Simple Joy says, can you give us your best Australian style good day? And congrats, mate. Uh, good day. That's the best. It's the best I got. I hope that, <laughs> I hope that was good enough for you. Good day. Yeah, it's the best I got. Um, it's Nick Atwell. Hey, Nick, good to see you again. Congrats on 40K subs. Reached almost 600 from the last stream. Very exciting. Nice. Congratulations on a 600 uh, subscriber bump from last Saturday. You are rocking, my friend. Keep up the good work. High five fist bump for that. Candy Ken says, hi, I was on your other live stream. I'm a fan. Very cool. Welcome aboard. I'm glad you are enjoying the live streams, that you're enjoying the content, that you're finding value here. I hope you, that it finds 
I hope that you find it helpful, and I hope that it helps you grow your YouTube channel. JH Aquatics says, I have a fish keeping channel but live in the Caribbean. I sh feel I should try and utilize my location somehow in my session, but you live in an exotic place and you don't do that. No, absolutely not. I live in an exotic place. It is awesome here, but it just doesn't fit with the type of content that I make. It doesn't, like, for me, um, if I was doing, uh, you know, travel videos or I was doing, you know, a local type channel, then, you know, it'd be great for that. But because of the because of my personal goals and because of you know what I'm trying to create and the help I'm trying to provide with my channel, um, you know, doing that type of stuff for what I do, it's just not you know it's just not a it's just not a great fit. Um, uh, with that said, though, sometimes I do you know like in my uh, 10,000 subscriber video and my 20,000 subscriber video, both of those um, I went out into the local area and you know I, I shot some stuff. Um, there for for those. Okay, love your tips. Sorry for bothering you, Nick. No bother at all. Screech Tech, you are good. Hey, Nick, I was here last week. Congrats, Vatcher's videos. Thanks for coming in again. How do you how do you do live? Please, a single suggestion. No idea because you just filled it with emoticons, and I don't know what kind of suggestion that you want. So I'm going to put you in timeout for the emoticons. Uh, let's see here. How do I shave my head bald like you? Super simple. I use a Mach 3. Nick, congrats. Thank you. Um, do you know how to speak Thai? Been watching your channel since 20K. Um, the Stacy Squad, I speak enough Thai to get myself into trouble. My girlfriend does not speak English. So um, because of that, you know, it forces me to learn Thai on a regular basis, um, which is good. But I know enough Thai to, you know, communicate with her and to, you know, um, navigate myself uh, around, but uh, because of that, uh, because I, I because my girlfriend doesn't speak English, you know that that forces me to you know to learn more and more um, Thai. Zandroid says, "How can I improve my thumbs?" See, now that's a good specific question. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to pull you up, Zandroid. Okay, so we are on the Zandroid channel right now. First off, Zandroid, you need to optimize your channel page, or you need to uh, verify your account, and you need to customize your channel page. You do that on your side, the view that you're going to have. Um, you, you're you going to see a little gear icon right here next to your subscribe button. Click on that, and then you're gonna in the drop down, you're going to see something about um, your um, customized channel page. You want to make sure that you have that um, selected, and then it will let you do playlists and things like that so that you can clean up your channel page, and you can get the navigation and all that stuff up here. Um, on the top. And as far as your thumbnails are concerned, you need to work on your titles, my friend. Um, you need to definitely work on your thumbnails. You don't have any thumbnails right now. All you have is just a screenshot from YouTube. So you need to actually make thumbnails. So right here, how you, where you're watching my video on how to make thumbs on your phone, just follow that tutorial and make your thumbnails that way and then upload them into your account. So right now, because you are, I, I don't know if your channel isn't optimized because you're not uh, verified. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but if it is, um, you definitely want to make sure that you verify your account so that you can upload thumbnails. Oh, you know what? I put up the display capture here, but I didn't even transfer it. That's funny. So you guys are just watching me watch his channel. That's funny. Okay, let's see here. Next up on the list. Uh, let's see here. Conzio29, let me check on you here and see if you are the same. Okay, guys, a few rules here for the, uh, anytime, fr from now on, anytime that I look at a channel, um, there are a few things that, that need to be in place. Um, at least have the channel verified in a custom layout. Because if not, you know, you're doing a huge disservice to yourself and your channel. So um, so from now on, if, if your channel is not um, verified and your channel um, does not have a custom, your layout customized, I'm just going to skip it. I'll mention, hey, you need to customize your channel, and then I'll go on to the, uh, to the next one. So basically what I'm going to do here is, Zandroid, you said that you said poor. That's that that doesn't matter. Like if you can upload videos to YouTube, you can verify it's free. 
They, there's no charge to create a YouTube channel. There's no charge. Like that thumbnail tutorial that I showed you in that video, um, that thumbnail tutorial, it's, it's, it's free. The tutorial's free. The app is free. Um, you're already making videos on your phone. It's a, it's a smartphone. I saw your screenshots. So you can download the app. You can use that, and you can verify your account um, on your phone. So you're good, man. Justin Bennett in the house. What is going on, my man? Nice to see you. Okay, so on this one here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. The question, again, was on the thumbnails, and this is kind of my I'm kind of obsessed with thumbnails. So here they asked how they can improve their thumbnails. Um, first, these all of these look exactly the same. So, I mean, it I looks maybe it's, yeah, it is. It's, it's part of a, a series, maybe. So, yeah, I don't know any of this stuff. It looked, is this in another language? Hold on. Yeah, no description in your in your video. Yeah, you need to you definitely need to put a description on your channel page. But yeah, like your your thumbnails, um, they're bland. But I don't know. And, and yeah, you need to make a match first off, but or not match. But you need to do something that connects your thumbnails to your account, so to speak, that makes it so people recognize your stuff. It looks like you're starting to do that here, um, but you definitely need to dial it in on all of these um, as well. I just got the notification here, Zandroid just subscribed. All right, welcome aboard, Zandroid. Um, so, so yeah, in your case, um, I would basically, I would just work on, you know, getting your branding together on your thumbnails. That's my suggestion for, um, for yours. Okay, next up on the list, we are going into, oh, hey, we got a super chat. Super Cold Gaming says, hey, Nick, congrats on 40K. Would you mind giving my channel a quick review? Yep, I'll open you up right here. Oh, we got another one, too. Uh, let's see here. Jay Malone, appreciate your help. I'd love you to take a look at my channel. All right, Jay, I'll open up you as well. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. For a short message from the sky. Okay, let me close that. Okay, Super Cold Gaming. Um, because you are making, let's make sure I've got the right screen. Okay, Super Cold Gaming, because you are making gaming content, just subscribe to your channel. Because you are making gaming content, you have Super Cold Gaming, which is great because it lets them know that you are making gaming content. So you are definitely on the right path there for your thumbnails. And this is a real common occurrence. I can see what you're doing here um, with this tiny little graphic. I would try to make something that stands out just a little bit more because I actually had to hunt for that. Because that's one of the things that I hunt for when I'm doing these uh, when I'm doing these uh, uh, quick reviews, is is I look for, you know, something that connects the content. I would make this a little bit more obvious. Um, you have it here. That's good. So you're you're on the right path there. But I would definitely uh, make your your branding element there stand out a bit more. Maybe put like a a white square around it, um, so that it you know so that it stands off of the the thumbnails here just a little bit. Um, Another thing, just as a side note here, because I know I came to look at your thumbs. Um, as a side note, make sure that you're also adding uh, descriptions to your playlists. In order to do that, basically you click into the playlists. Here, I'll click on this one. It's not going to show me, but basically when you click into your playlist, you'll see the option here um, to edit the playlist or whatever, or you can just click in this area because you'll see the description area like right in here on your playlist. So you want to definitely make sure that you, you um, uh, are... Basically, you want to optimize your playlist just like you would a video because they uh, playlists come up in search. So it's, it's good that you optimize your, um, uh, your playlists as well for the sake of um, discoverability. But yeah, also, you know, on your older stuff here, you know, like this one, you know, it doesn't have the uh, thumbnail on it. It's a cool looking thumbnail though. Um, but yeah, some of your thumbnails look, look pretty cool um, actually, but, but there's not like a good theme, you know what I mean? So, because there's not a good theme with what it is that you're doing, you're like you're just putting up a bunch of random stuff, and you're not really branding anything. Um, so I would definitely try to um, tighten up your your branding on your thumbnails for sure. Let's see here. We need to talk. Okay, yeah, like on this, we need to talk. You also want to get your titles together to make stuff that people are are looking for. Like here, there's probably you know when this came out, um, or you know. For this video, there's probably a bunch of videos, I would guess. I don't know because I haven't researched this, but I would guess that there are a bunch of videos with this same exact title on YouTube or pretty close to it. Um, I would definitely look for 
um, long tail phrases that you can go for that are not just the name of the game and with the gameplay and uh, and all of that. Because you know what you want to do is you want to go for terms that are that to where you're lowering your competition. And and when you do that, then uh, you're going to be able to grow easier because you're going to be able to rank your bees, your videos easier, and people are going to discover your content um, easier as well. Okay. Yeah, this is good. I would add a little bit more to this. Um, but, you know, I make informative gaming videos such as real-life inspiration for certain video games. That's good. Um, I would also, though, I would add just a little bit more. Maybe add your schedule if you have a schedule in here and and some things like that. Just to go ahead and fill this out just a little bit because it's just, it's just, you know, but there's not a lot going on here. You know what I mean? Maybe if you have, like, um, I know some people will put um, subscriber milestone goals and, you know, things like that. Just something to kind of fill this up a little bit so it's not so dead. That's just a visual thing. Um, but I, I would definitely do something to fill this out. If you could fill it out more with um, uh, more, you know, dense keyword phrases related to the type of content that you make, that would be a bonus. Um, but I would do something to uh, fill out this area a little bit more as well. Jay Malone. Jay Malone, I love your channel header. Your channel header looks great, man. Like uh, this thing here where you have the J and then the Malone pops off of the pops off there. That looks fantastic, man. Well done on your header. So basically you're branding yourself. You have drones, pranks, tech, and more. Awesome. You're letting people know the type of content that you provide. Please subscribe. Um, and you have the, the cloud thing going on back there. That's cool. Overall, excellent presentation. Your profile picture, you know, that's you. That's a, that's a good picture. You know what I mean? So that's that's very good. All of this up here is fantastic. One thing is I'm not sure what the goal of your channel is. If your channel is specifically to drive people to your Facebook channel, then um, then it's important to have this. But if you have your website here and you're trying to use this as a lead, let me make sure I'm still on screen. Yep. And and you're trying to lose this, use this as a lead generator of some kind, then I would definitely um, move your website to the front unless of course if you're trying to catch them on facebook then then leave that there but whatever is the most important thing to you if it's driving subscribers i would put a click here to subscribe if it's driving people to your website so they can see what services you offer then i would you know move that over to here but whatever's most important to you should be in this front spot where you can actually put text to uh to help you know drive people to that specific um link uh, let's see here. On your channel page, let me see how many videos you have before I say this. On your channel page, yeah, you got a lot of content. I would definitely, oh yeah, you got a lot of content. Look at all this. Woo. All right. Yeah, so on your channel page, I would um, I would also, because right now you just have your uploads and then you have check out my playlist. This is good to have these playlists down here like this, but I would also uh, make more playlists so that they can just scroll down the page and they can see more titles and thumbnails. So basically, what you're doing, because if you look in your stats right now, Jay, and everybody watching this, if you look in your stats right now, um, you can see, if you look in your stats right now, you can see that your um, uh, most subscribers come from your channel page, right? And because of that, when people land on your channel page, you want this page to be as impressive as possible. Right. And again, it's all in that whole visual authority thing. Right. You want them to, when they land for this to, to, to be like, oh, OK, yes, this looks great. It looks like somebody that's actually putting effort into their channel. And yours, Jay, definitely does. So you're doing a great job there. But one thing that I would do, though, in addition to that visual authority, you also want to be everything. You're, you also want everything to be as easy as possible to consume. So what I mean by that is like right now how you have 12 videos, five videos and 11 videos in these three playlists. Because people can't see those here, they just see, you know, five, six, seven, eight, and some of these are repeats. So they just see, a, you know, just a few of your videos here. If you drop these into playlists that make sense, you know, to kind of categorize the content a little bit into more stuff that they consume, can consume. So as they scroll down the page, they say, oh, okay, well, he makes this type of content too. Or he has a video about this and he has a video about this. And what you're doing there is you're making it easy. So in this example, right, like, um, and this is really important, so I hope everybody is, is, is paying attention to this because, like, right now, if you have somebody come to your channel and they see this stuff, your most recent uploads, and they're like, you know what, uh, this is okay, but it's not really the type of content that I'm interested in, you may have just lost them there. Or they come down and they're like, 
oh, pranks and other fun stuff. I like pranks, so I'm going to click here. Well, maybe because they didn't see all of the other content that you have, maybe your other content would have won them as well, and they would have went into one of those videos. Because here what you've done is they click into one of those playlists, and then it brings them to a buffer page, right? So basically you're creating more work for the for the person that's actually watching your, your or viewing your, your content. So basically you, and I'll back up here to go through this again, they clicked on this, they come in, this is an extra step that they that the viewers have to take in order to consume your content. So once they're on this page, maybe they'll look at the the more videos that you have. Maybe they're gonna say, okay, well, you know, let's see what they've got here. And then they back out because they, they're not watching a video already, right? Because they're looking at your titles here and they're like, eh, yeah, okay, well, maybe not. And then they back out and they go watch something else. Or, you know, they click play all and then you got them into a playlist and you're getting a bunch of watch time off of them, which is good. But what I'm getting at is it's really important that you display content for the sake of making it easy to find because the more content that people can find easily without having the buffer pages in between and stuff like that, the, the easier you make it for people to view your content, the more views that you're going to get and the more watch time um, that you're going to get on your channel, the more authority that you're going to get. And the more that you, you know, use all of those metrics, as long as you can keep people watching your videos, the more you use those metrics, the more momentum you're going to end up picking up um, on on YouTube. So Jay, I hope that was I uh, hope that was helpful for you. I hope that was the uh, the info you were looking for there. Hope you found that helpful. Jay says I'll be optimizing uh, this to show more of my playlists. Okay, very cool, my man. Dollar Dude says, hey, Nick, I would absolutely love a review. Not a lot of videos so far just started, but have subs grown. Um, but subs have grown. I need to make sure I'm on the right path. Dollar Dude, I will go to your channel right now. And I'm going to scroll up here real quick, make sure I didn't miss any, because I kind of... Oh, there we go. Scared me. Okay. Scroll up here, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, yeah, I did. Maps and dots, I got you too. Could you give us some feedback on our channel too, please? Absolutely. Let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss anybody else. <laughs> Jam Jordan TV, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, you know, I think, yeah, I looked at yours. Uh, I looked at yours last week, I believe. Okay, let's see here. Super Chats commence. <laughs> uh, we got Jay. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll back down here, and then we are going to um, go into this. Uh... And real quick, um, I just want to go ahead and say, um, in the description, there are all types of useful links down there. i got links to TubeBuddy. I've got links to a new channel that I'm working on that you need to subscribe to right now. Um, a new channel that I'm working on called Creator Insights. I'm working on that channel with my brother. Um, basically, on my channel, we are YouTube specific, and it's more about growth and you know strategy and things like that. Creator Insights is going to be more about the engineering side of creating content, the actual how-to. You know, how do you use a camera? Where are the settings in the camera that you need to use? How do you make a DIY light? How do you you know make all of your stuff look cool for cheap? You know, videos like that. And we're also going to be doing interview um, stuff with people from all over. Um, the world. So, you know, creators all over the world. So it's, it's going to be awesome. So make sure that you subscribe to that channel if you haven't already, but the link to that is down in the description. Uh, Melody Lane, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Nice to see you in here and have fun on your live stream as well. If I wrap this up anytime soon, I will head over there and uh, check out your live stream as well. Okay. So let's get back onto this. Focus, Nick, focus, Nick, focus, Nick. Okay, so we are going to start here. I'm going to do these in the order that they came in. So we're going to start here with Jordan TV because that was that was the first one. So let's open this up here. Okay, Jordan TV. Yes, uh, this is, yeah, because this was uh, the where I couldn't understand the language last time. Um, same thing for you, Jordan. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I went over that last time, but just like I was talking about with Jay, um, you know, Make sure that whatever is the most important to you, Facebook might be, but keep in mind, whatever's the most important to you for your personal goals for your channel and where you're trying to drive your traffic to, make sure that you are um, 
you know, whatever's the most important is here so that you can put that clear call to action on it. Instead of um, Facebook page, I would do something like, you know, more, you know, connect on Facebook or, you know, something like that instead of just saying that it's, a, that it's your Facebook page. Just so it adds like more of a call to action to it. So it's like a stronger call to action. Um, yeah, again, I can't, uh, the critiques maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure what that what that says, but you do unboxings as well. So basically, you have the, your 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 name, which is good. You have the type of content that you make. Um, you you have your playlists here, and the same thing with you um, is you don't have a ton of content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So yeah, you don't have a, a a ton of content. So with your playlist and stuff, you are you're on the right path. But one thing that I would do, and man, I I, I your cutouts here, how you're using yourself, that is um, fantastic. Um, I would just try to make sure, you are for the most part, but I would just try to make sure that you are syncing things up properly in your in your thumbnail branding. So like this, for example, you know, this one looks a little, this one looks different than this one. It's, it's relatively close, but you know, this thumb looks drastically different from this thumb. This thumb looks drastically different from all of these thumbs um, and all of that, but you might be doing this as a strategy um, for the particular playlist that you're putting together, which is totally fine here. It looks like you are not. So nice intro, by the way. So, um, here in that case, you know, like here, it looks like you are, um, like you are using all of these in a playlist, like these three thumbnails, they, they are drastically different from each other. So for the sake of your branding, I would try to, to dial these in, um, to where they look similar. And since it's YouTube content, I personally, you know, of course, do your thing, you know, because you have a better view of your brand than I do because it's you. Um, but this here, this thumbnail looks awesome. Like how, you know, how it's got style to it. You're in it. You know, if you, you could swap your picture out, any of your pictures, you could swap here and it would still look great. Um, but you have the blue on there that's very attention grabbing. You have it to where the, you know, the angles are in there. So, uh, so that's also attention grabbing, um, and you have the other colors in there and the text looks great. Like I would stick with this style right here. You got the texture in the background. This style here looks awesome. This here, in my opinion, it looks good, right? And you, you know, you, you have this like popping out of your border and stuff, you know, so it looks cool, but it's not really attention grabbing, right? This grabs attention. Like, you know, when you're looking at these, this right here grabs attention. This right here, eh, not so much. If this video shows up in search next to a video that has a lot of vibrant colors, you're probably going to lose those clicks to the people that are that that have the more vibrant colors because this one's just like super dull. Um, but this one here has a lot more life to it, so I would definitely um, try to go with with something like that. Next up on the list. Yeah, same thing here. I would also try to fill this out just a little bit more. You know, of course, don't do anything that's unnecessary, but I would just put a little bit more information here, maybe a little bit about your upload schedule or something like that. Next up on the list, we have Dollar Dude. A thousand subscribers. High five and fist bump to you, Dollar Dude, for crossing over that thousand subscriber mark. That's a that's a heck of a milestone. Most people don't make it that far. Awesome job, man. Okay, let's figure out this whole money thing. New videos every week, Dollar Dude. So it appears to me, because I don't know anything about your content, it appears to me that you do talk about money. It's not blatantly clear, but it's relatively clear. Like I get the idea that you are talking about money. Um, so, you know, so you're on the right track there. You know, you have Dollar Dude and let's figure out this whole money thing. Basically, you're suggesting by my intake, not being familiar with your content, um, you know, you're suggesting that you are doing something about money. I, personally, I would try to make that a little bit more clear if you can. But, uh, you know, like as an example, like you could do it here, new fill in the blank videos every, every week, right? So new, uh, money making tips or new, let's see what you're doing here. New, yeah. New money tips, you know, new money making tips every week or money saving tips every week or new money tips every week or something, something along that line. You could just put it right here to, uh, to clarify that. Cause I like, I like this, you know, it's kind of edgy, you know, Hey, let's figure out this whole money thing. You know what I mean? So you know, it's kind of edgy and, and it, and it's definitely big and bold, you know, and has the money thing in there too. So, so you're definitely on the right path. I would just try to clarify that just a tad. So in your header, that's, that's, that's all I would recommend there. 
how you have the click here to subscribe. Awesome. As a side note, because you are making um, money related content, I don't know if in the future you plan to make any type of, um, you know, tripwire, any type of, um, you know, email marketing list or anything like that. But if so, you would definitely want to um, put that up here in this place because this type of content is really good for, for that type of, um, for that type of marketing. Um, here I would also, let me see how many videos you have. I think you said you don't have a lot yet. Okay. Yeah. So you're on the, you're on the right path here and how you're doing your thumbnails. You know, this is very, a very familiar thing that that's really cool. I dig that a lot. But, you know, how you're doing your thumbnails, you know, you're using the same fonts, same colors, you're in all of the thumbnails. You know, how you're doing this is fantastic. You are definitely on the right path. Hey, you did a video with Wendy. Awesome. I'm going to go in here and give this video a watch later and give it a thumbs up and give it a watch later real quick just so I can come back in here and check this out. Very cool. Uh, watch later. There we go. Oh, that's cool. I like your grid, too. Your graphic looks cool. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Woo! Yeah, cool intro, too, man. Money Minions. You got your tribe name already? Yeah, man, you are, you're, you're off to the, you're off to the races, man. Good start. Okay, Maps and Dots, Travel and Reviews, new videos every two weeks. Awesome and awesome. Sending people to your website. Very, very good, but it looks like, okay, um, in your case, if you see that your avatar isn't showing here, you see this. Basically, what's happening is when, when you click on that, YouTube is sending um, people to a buffer page. So this, Maps and Dots, um, this is hurting you. Any, any people that you are sending over to your, to your website, um, they're hitting this buffer page. And this buffer page, at least for me, you know, go ahead and mention in the chat. If, you, if a page like this makes you feel like you are here let me read this real quick your channel is really helpful and i would really appreciate a channel review to see what i can improve on and how to improve my thumbnails thanks just add you to the list there stacy squad so in your case right maps and dots how how this is happening you're losing people here because this at least for me and go ahead and mention it in the chat if you feel the same way if when you hit these these buffer pages if they make you feel uncomfortable like the site isn't safe or something weird like that for me that's what it does so in order to get around this, Maps and Dots, what you need to do is you need to go into your Creator Studio. Once you're inside of your Creator Studio, you want to go to Channel, the Channel option that will be over here in the left navigation. Once you're in your, uh, once you're in the Channel, then uh, you'll go into Advanced, I believe. And then once you are in Advanced, you'll see an option to connect or associate your website. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go through the process to do that super easy. All you have to do is you have to upload an HTML file to your, to your website. They're going to have two options for you. They're, they're going to have the first option that's going to be, it's going to seem like it's the only option. And what it is, it's a tab. And that tab says that you have to, you know, add an A record and all this other stuff, which is more complicated. Um, but if you click a tab, there's going to be another tab right next to that. If you click it, then uh, you will have the option to just upload a file. And then you upload a file, click verify, and it's done. And like, you know, it, it, the whole entire thing might take you five minutes to set up. But when you do that, that will verify your website so that you can link to it from directly within a video in a card or whatever, which is awesome. Um, your end screen, everything. You can link to it from everything. Um, and it will show a little avatar here or a little icon. And people will be able to link directly through to your website without a bumper, uh, without a buffer page. So... That's my biggest tip for you <laughs> right uh, right there. So in addition to that, your your thumbnails look cool. your your you know your branding, they're super simple, but they're bold, which is which is very cool. You know how you have the one word in the white, the other word in the yellow. you know, you're getting your branding together with that. Um, I would keep it similar. Like here, you know, you move this to orange. I would definitely get that yellow. Um, back on there. Th this orange also kind of fades into the background a little bit. It doesn't really, it doesn't really pop. So I would definitely move that back to um, the yellow. And I don't know if you were doing like a live. No, you don't have enough subscribers. So um, I would also make sure that you add this too, just so that everything is seamless for um, people that are wanting to consume your stuff. But yeah, you know, if you're watching this right now, you know, this is a super simple way to do your thumbnails. To where you know this is attention grabbing. You know these these you know this big text on here. I use a, the same font that you do or a very close font, 
and this is a this not just this font, but but what I'm saying is the actual you know they put the image there and then they just put big organized text on the thumbnail and and that looks great. So yeah, you, you guys are definitely on the right path for for that your header and your logo. Yeah, that that looks that looks fantastic. Excellent job there. And and this is one of those things as far as I was talking about before um, and that I always talk about with visual authority is when I land on your channel, even though you don't have a lot of content yet, when I land on your channel because of your header and how you're doing your thumbnails, it looks like a pro channel. So because of that, people are going to give you more consideration when they're deciding to bail on your content or not. So once you get more content on this particular channel, because I see that you have other playlists there too, but um, once you get more videos on your particular channel, then I would also go and, and start adding those playlists down here um, as well. And as a side note, um, you have two, 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 one. Oh, okay, so you already are adding these into playlists. Hold on, let me look at something real quick. Okay, so anywhere where you do not have an overlap, I would go ahead and actually break these down into, into playlists on your channel page too. Um, you're only a few videos in though. So, you know, just one scroll and they can consume all of your content. But I would still try to um, lay your content out in a way here to where people can just scroll down your page and see what it is that you have to offer. So that is that. So now we are going to hop into the chat real quick before we go over to Stacy. And I'm just going to see what's going on in the chat. I'm going to just say, what is going on to some folks? So let's see here. Let me uh, scroll through. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see here. Plays no. You just got some credit with me, man. Cool Adam 20 plays no. Let's see here. Cool Adam 20. Nick Nimmin, can you please look over my channel? I do gaming tutorials. Hey, we just had a subscriber come in. Demor Demoria Jones just subscribed. If you are in this live stream right now, Demoria, welcome. High five. Fist bump. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the channel. Happy to have you on board. Nick, if you find, here's a question from FFA Unihan. Um, says, Nick, if you find something that interests you other than your focus on your channel, should you hold it and ignore that interest? Okay. This is a big problem for creative people. And on YouTube, unhappily a housewife. Thank you very much. Um, this is a big thing on YouTube because we're, we're creative people here, right? So making content and then getting kind of like, well, you know, I want to make more content. I want to make a different type of content or, you know, something like that is something that we all struggle with, right? But here's what I recommend. Have one channel, depending on your personal goals, if you're trying to make your YouTube channel into something, right? Focus your channel on whatever it is that you're trying to make it into and then any additional stuff that you want to make. If you want to you know, basically push out that creative outlet. You want to make just all types of different styles of content, make another channel for that. So that you have your main content that you're actually trying to grow and you're trying to, you know, drive traffic to. And then you have your creative channel to where you're just doing stuff that you enjoy and you still try to drive traffic to that, but you are putting your focus on whatever is most important to you. So that's, that's my, that's my biggest recommendation um, for that. Okay. Next up on the list Let's see here. Facts Knight, thank you. I appreciate it. And I will check you out here in a second as well. Okay, let's see here. Hey, Nick, you're so wonderful for helping us out. I've got a lifestyle vlog channel. My subs have plateaued. Not sure what I'm missing. I'd love a channel review, says Kim here. Okay, let's see here. I think this is I think this is the first time I've seen you, Kim, in this live stream. I'm going, I'm going to pop your channel open here. Thrive After Abuse. Nick, I love your channel and love what you do. Thanks for all the great tips. Yay for you, 40K. You totally deserve it. Thrive After Abuse, thank you. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate your kind words. It's been an awesome journey, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys, without you. You know, without without this wonderful community that has, that has grown around the channel, I would not be able to. And you have 31,000 subscribers there, um, Thrive for Abuse. So... You know, you know what it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, having that community around your YouTube channel is, it's just awesome. And, and, and the community here at this channel is amazing. All of you guys in this live stream right now are absolutely amazing. And I love having you around. Okay. So I'll quit being sentimental and go into uh, the next one here. 
on the list, which is Stacy Squad. All right, Stacy Squad, what do we got here? Subscribe. You are at 114 subscribers. You crossed that 100 mark. Well done. Stacy Squad saying your channel name. That's good. Lifestyle, DIYs, and vlogs. Subscribe for more. That is good. Um, lifestyle, DIY, and vlog, you, you clearly state what you're doing. You're saying to subscribe for more. That is good. Um, another way that you could do this, I see that you're separating with the flower, but you could you could do subscribe for more lifestyle DIYs and vlogs. Um, but yeah, I mean, how you have it is, is perfectly fine. You're good there. Um, let's see here. Oh, we just had a subscriber come in. GameSoft, welcome aboard. If you are in this live stream right now, I'm not sure if you are, but if you are in this live stream right now, welcome aboard. Nice to have you here. Okay, so your thumbnails, I think, was what you were wanting me to look at. Um, in your case, with your thumbnails... How you're doing these frames, this is cool, um, but I would stick with a color for your frames so that people always recognize that color as part of your stuff. I would do something that matches this so that it pulls it all together. Um, that is, of course, unless you are doing a playlist of some kind. Um, you know, if you have a strategy to where you're like, hey, I'm going to do, you know, these videos for this playlist, these videos for this playlist, these videos for this playlist. If you're doing it that way, then if you break it down by color, then you're totally cool. But... If you're not doing it that way, then, you know, using a particular color to, to connect your uh, your content is is uh, is a good way to go. Another thing as well is um, I would also make sure, like, if you're trying to let people know who you are, I'm guessing, you know, this is you, Stacy. If you're trying to let people know who you are and trying to get people familiar with you, then I would try to put you in all of your thumbnails as well so that your audience can connect with you and they can identify you in all of your thumbnails um, as well. So those are my big recommendations to you basically on your thumbnails is to basically try to make everything look as similar as you can so that people can recognize your content as your content when it shows up on their homepage um, or in, a, in another recommended or suggested place. Like as, as an example, this one that you uploaded four months ago, I know it's been four months, but this one that you uploaded four months ago, if they're used to seeing you and you have this video show up on the homepage, they're less likely to click on this because they're not, you know, only the people that are into upbeat music are going to click on this. But if your face was on here, right, if, if, if your face was on here and you also had the upbeat music, then people that are into you would also click on this. And they might, you know, they might not be into upbeat music, but they might click on it and come in and just show support. They might watch the video, they might leave a comment, they might give it a thumbs up just for the sake of showing support because they're into you and what you are creating and what you're doing for your viewers. So that that's my recommendations for you um, on your thumbnails. Kim here, subscribe to you too. Kim here, quirky lifestyle entertainment four days a week. Good job on your upload schedule, four days a week, that's awesome. Sorry if that makes the other days less cool. <laughs> nice. Clever there. Media Strange, Kim here. Yeah, I, I totally dig this. Quirky Lifestyle Entertainment, four days a week. Excellent, fantastic. Great start there. And it looks cool. You have like a style to it, which is which is very cool. Um, yeah, your thumbnails definitely connect your viewers to you, which is great. So you're definitely off to the right start there. Let's see if this is something new or... Yeah, these especially, like how you're doing it with the bar on the side. Yeah, th those um, especially. And then I guess you're doing this something different for your live stuff. That's cool. Um, here, like on this one, I would try to I would try to make it match. I know you're doing it differently for the sake of doing a book review, but I would still try to make it match. If nothing else, in color or at least font or something like that. Maybe do. Um, the same font, but change the, the actual color to the blue um, instead. But yeah, you're definitely on the right path here. And and it looks like you didn't used to to have all of your thumbnail stuff looking the same. But now, like this, when I when I first saw this up here, I was like, oh yeah, she's she's got it. She's got it under control. So this is all your more recent content. So with that, I'm going to assume that this is how you're how you're doing it. So um, so yeah, you're definitely on the right path there. And I mean, it shows. You know, one thing to keep in mind is, you know, for everybody watching this live stream right now, I think we're down to 105 people, but for everybody that's watching this live stream right now, 
like in 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 Kim's case here, she's got 210 subscribers, right? And what that says is it says, okay, she has 210 subscribers. 210 people have already proven to be interested in her and what she's making. So just that alone goes to show that she's on the right path because if 200 people can hop on board, then 2,000 people can hop on board or 200,000 people can hop on board. It's just the the difference is between now and then. You know what I mean? Because it, it's just filling in that gap of time in between. But you're definitely on the, on the right path um, as far as that is concerned. Your, uh, your, your description page is good too, by the way. Um, here, you know, Kim here, I like to talk to you about, uh, on YouTube about all things, books, products, thoughts, and feelings. All of this will fit or most of this will fit into that description box. So yeah, that is, that is also good. Your playlist, you've got your descriptions on your playlists. Yeah. See, like with Kim, you can see that Kim is basically taking the information that she's getting from, you know, different YouTube help channels. She, I'm, I don't know if you went through the YouTube creator Academy or not, Kim, but you know, you're, you're applying all of this stuff. And I love, I absolutely love seeing that because a lot of people will get all of this information and they won't apply it. So I'm like, you know, tickled pink, so to speak, that you are, um, you know, that you're applying all the information that you're putting in the effort to, to make this happen. And because you are, over time, you will be rewarded for that. Just keep in mind that it's just, it's time. So if, if you're making content, because you are on the grind, if you're uploading four days a week, you're on the grind making videos. Um, but just keep in mind that if you can keep up that pace um, over time, um, you'll definitely gain a following. If you've already gained 210 subscribers and, you know, you're dialing all of your stuff in like this and you're doing all the things that you should be doing, then you will, you know, you will gain. One thing that I would recommend in your case is making content. You, you'll hear me say this a lot about being on the other side of search. What I mean by that is when people search for something, like, you know, like you, think about when you search for something, right? You go to YouTube and you're like, okay, I want to know how to do this. I want to know how to do this is what you type in, right? And on the other side of that search, there is, hey, here's how you do this, right? And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm looking for how to do this. And then all these results came up for, Here's how, to, here's how to do this. So you're like, okay, well, I'm going to watch those, right? That's part of discoverability in getting your content in front of people. Like in your, in your case, because your, um, your titles were kind of broad, so to speak, it was kind of like your titles seemed like, um, at least the ones that I looked at, they seemed like you're making content um, that you want to make, which is good. But, but you should title and craft, or you should craft your titles around things that people are actually looking for in search so that you can actually show up um, on the other side of that of that search. It's super important. So in addition to all of the stuff that you've learned and applied already, um, it, you're, you're off to a great start. Um, but I would also spend a lot of time learning how to rank your videos in search because that's super, uh, super important. JM Jordan TV says, Thanks so much. I love your channel. We'll start to put your advice to work. Thank you. LYD says, LOL, I'm learning. Dollar Dude, gotcha. Yes, I plan to do that in the future. Uh, Beyond the Blast Doors, what is going on? Nice to see you. One of our favorite pieces of advice from Nix, uh, when you comment, make it quality. We try and leave meaningful comments, something with true purpose. It's proven effective in the last month. Power tip. Um, if you are leaving comments on channels and you're leaving comments and th this is based on your comment uh, beyond the blast doors. If you're leaving comments on other people's channels, right? And you're leaving comments that are meaningful or they're clever or, you know, you are, you know, starting the conversation on somebody's channel, then if your channel or your comment ends up getting ranked higher because it's a good comment and that video ends up taking off, you could, you'd be shocked at the amount of views that you get from a video that takes off just because you're in there leaving a comment being a part of the community. Blessing blessing Onsen. Thank you. But yeah, you would be shocked at the the amount of traffic you can drive just from just from just from leaving comments on people's videos. And I'm not talking about, "Hey, come check out my channel." I'm not talking about, "Hey, let's help each other out." I'm not talking about, you know, one 
uh, one view equals three subscribers equals plus one comment. You know, like that whole thing. Not talking about that either. Um, what I'm talking about is actual real comments, real, you know, like, hey, I watched your video. This is what I thought about it. And, you you know, you're just an active part of the community. You're leaving legit stuff. You know what I mean? You're leaving legit comments. And if you're doing that on videos that are that are doing well, then uh, it can really add up. So if you go around to good channels that you're into and you're active in their communities, then, you know, especially if it's communities that are similar to yours, then then you can drive a lot of really, really targeted traffic that way. Like as an example, um, uh, and I wasn't doing it for the sake of driving targeted traffic, but um, when I was in, uh, when I went out on Tim's live stream the other day on Tim Schmoyer's live stream, and then uh, from there I went into Patreon, right, um, just, just to see what he's doing there, because you know he's a smart guy. He's, I have massive respect for Tim for what he's doing and what he's created on YouTube and and how he's helped the community develop on YouTube. Massive respect for him. So I wanted to go in and, and see what he was doing. And while I was in there, um, I, I met up with a few other creators, and they showed up in the live stream here today. You know what I mean? It's things like that. And, and, and I recognize them from being in Tim's stuff and being a part of Tim's community. So because, you know, because it's all in the same realm, so to speak, um, you know, it created that, you know, it created that connection, which is really cool. That's, you know, it's, YouTube is a social network, right? So... Razman's Rowdy says, hey, Nick, this is just from me to you as a congrats and thanks. Whoa, lost it. Um, and a thanks for all of your help and being so awesome. You don't have to review my channel again if you don't want to. Tell you what, though, Razman, I'm still going to go to it. I don't have to review it, but I have one more that I have to get to really quick. And then after that one, I will, uh, I will, I will hit yours, my man. Okay, so next one up on the list is Facts Night. Facts Night, first off, you definitely need a channel header. You need to verify your channel so that you can get a custom layout going. Like right now, the only way I can get into your videos is your uploads, but if somebody lands on your channel that is not familiar with, you know, how to navigate YouTube and they're used to seeing navigation here and they're trying to find, you know, oh, you know, I can't even watch more of their videos, then you just lost somebody. So definitely make sure that you verify your channel and that you get these um, layouts or you get, you get your custom layout together. I'm going to go ahead and click on your uploads because I know to do that, and it's going to take me to the buffer page. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so here, you don't have a lot of videos yet. Um, you were talking about uh, wanting SEO advice. Um, here, here's, here's my SEO advice. In your case, you're doing Armored, Skeptic, Unoriginal, Clone, Mirrored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Armored, Skeptic, unoriginal, clone, mirrored. You know, I'll do clone because it looks like the mirrored was just a, an additional thing that you try to put in here. Okay, so you're nailing that. But here's the thing. There's only 314 results um, for that. I'm not sure how many people are actually... Uh, oh, wait, is this... Hold on. Oh, no, that's not you. Wait a minute. Did you jack their thumbnail? Okay. Let me do that again. I think you jacked their thumbnail. Armored, skeptic, unoriginal, clone. Okay, your thumbnail there? Yeah. I think you jacked their thumbnail here, and that is definitely not something that is cool people do that to me and i actually send when people when people take my thumbnails like that just as a heads up you know i'm not i'm not being a jerk here i'm just giving you a heads up when people do that to me and they take my thumbnails and they use them on their channels um i will send a copyright complaint because i put that thumbnail together i created that thumbnail and they are using it and because of that that gives me the ability to go into YouTube and put a copyright claim against them from stealing uh, my artwork because essentially that's what a thumbnail is. So I would be extremely careful. My biggest tip for you is to create your own um, original original thumbs. Unless, let me go ahead and say this, unless, of course, um, if you had 
something going on here, if maybe if they had a contest or something like that, and they're like, hey, you know, use our artwork for it or whatever, then, you know, totally cool. But if not, yeah, you definitely don't want to um, take other people's thumbs at all. But outside of that, you know, um, making your titles as things that people are actually searching for. Dear Joy Sparkle BS fans, like I'm not sure. Let's see here. Yeah, you're in here. Yeah, so, yeah, so like, uh, what idiots? Sparkle exposed. Yeah, like, um, oh, wait a minute. Are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here because this whole thing seems like a little odd. Because, like, this person looks like this person, which this is your channel, but that person is also here. And then when I go to your, your channel page, you also have it here. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I mean, maybe I guess that's there. I guess that's them. You're doing something about them. Yeah, I'm not sure. But basically, I would try to, I would try to just focus on content that's more valuable to the people that are, that are going to find your content instead of, I mean, you know, do your thing, of course, do your thing, but it's like, uh, it's like you're, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having trouble with this one. And, and, and the reason is I, I have no idea what's going on here because, because you have like all of this different, uh, these different people on here and like somebody else's thumbnail. Like I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on here. So because of that, the, the, the best thing that I'm going to tell you here is to um, to get your channel page together and then and then build from there. It looks like you're getting views on some of your stuff, which is good. Yeah, that's definitely good. Um, but as far as, you know, generating some subscribe, from subscribers from this stuff, you're going to get the most subscribers from your channel page. So it's really important that you that you put all of this together. Now we're going to pop over to my man, Razman's Reality. And I'm just going to pull his channel up here on the screen. He basically dropped me a super chat just to say congratulations. And, you know, we talk on Facebook sometimes and things like that. I'm in some of his comment sections um, as well. I think on his webcam uh, review, I think I was in there. Um, he is also in the uh, Tube Ritual group on Facebook, and he's in my group on Facebook, the uh, YouTube and Video Tips Facebook group, as well as the Tube Ritual Facebook group. Um, so um, good stuff here. So I just wanted to pull him up on the screen. For that. Thanks for the uh, super chat, my man. All right. So next up on the list, let's see here. I'm going to scroll down and kind of catch this up a little bit. And looks like we're getting some subscribers in here. Hard Knocks Lifestyle, if you're in this live stream, welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream, high five, fist bump, welcome aboard if you are in the live stream. If not, then, you know, that's cool. Maybe you'll run across this sometime in the future and be like, oh, wow, you saw when I survived. Cool. Or when I subscribed. Cool. BK Banga says, thanks, Nick. We appreciate the helpful content. I appreciate you. So thank you for watching the videos, and I'm glad that you are finding value in the content. Uh, let's see here. DC Theory, my channel. How do I name my videos where people can see them? A real simple, easy way to do that, DC Theory, is to go to the autocomplete right? The, the crash course on that without getting into, you know, getting in too deep. The crash course on, course on that, hey, costume cinematographer, what is going on? Nice to see you in here. The crash course on that is to basically go into the autocomplete in YouTube, start typing something in, right? Related to the type of content that you're making and see all of the suggestions that come up and then basically type in the, the main keyword phrase that you're going for and then type in A and then B and then C D, oh, A, backspace, and then B, backspace, C, backspace, and, and start doing it uh, that way to look for more ideas and more ways to title your videos. Uh, let's see here. Can you see how I'm doing, Nick? Place? Uh, let's see. I just finished my breakfast while watching the live stream. Until next time, congrats on the 40K. Lau and Pat's memoir. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. You guys just need to work on your channel about page and channel art. Thumbs look good, says Doug Halson, YouTube, YT. 
The Social Brook just hit 480 subscribers today. High five, fist bump, Social Brook. That is awesome. Rob the Fiasco says, congrats on the 40K. Thank you. I appreciate it. Stacy the Squad. Stacy the Stacy Squad says, thanks, Nick, for the suggestions. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Stacy. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Nick, what was the other channel you are starting? And also, any chance, quickly, looking over my YouTube, please, the Computer Lab, the new channel that I'm starting is called Creator Insights. You can hop in YouTube and you can search Creator Insights. It'll pop up there. Um, or you can just click on the link down in the description below and make sure that, I mean, you're all content creators here. So this channel is going to provide you, this new channel that I'm working on with my brother is going to provide you with massive amounts of value on the content side, on the side of, hey, this is how you actually create all of this stuff. This is how you make your videos look awesome. This is how you make your videos sound awesome. This is how you spread your content onto different social media platforms to expand your brand. This is how this particular creator thinks because we're going to be doing interviews and stuff like that as well. So if you are not already subscribed, I have a link to that channel down in the description of this video. So make sure that you head over there and you subscribe to that channel if you have not yet. I'm actually going to pull that channel up here on my social blade and see what we're up to right now. From the last live stream, um, we got the we got it up to like 250, I think it was, in the last live stream, which was awesome. I really appreciate your, your support on that. And in exchange for the support that you're giving us on that, we're going to be giving you tons of value um, on that channel. And in this live stream, um, we've taken it from like 360 something to 393 so far. So we're about to break 400 subscribers um, on that channel. So I'm trying to get it to, you know, like a thousand before we launch because we want to do live streams, but we want them to be like, yeah, you know, cause we're going to be doing like channel reviews over there and things like that. Especially when we first open that channel, we're going to be doing tons of channel reviews over there. Um, so that, you know, to kind of, you know, just get everybody involved, right? So we're going to be doing channel reviews over there. Um, we're going to be interviewing people. We're going to be showing all types of DIY things so that you can learn how to create content on the cheap and all of that. So if you're not already subscribed, um, there's a link down in the description of this video. Just click on that link and it'll take you over there to subscribe uh, real quick. Okay. So with that out of the way, Let's see here. Uh, thanks, dollar, dollar, dollar. Trying to make it to 1K at 923 says unhappily a housewife. That is cool. Getting close. That's a that's a big milestone. Penny Cockrell says congrats on 40K. Yeah, so let's see here. Where's that? Unhappily a housewife. You know, I want to check out your channel. I think I've looked at your channel before. I think I did a, re uh, a quick channel review on it. I'm going to pull you up right now. Yeah, 924. I'm going to go ahead. I just subscribed to you, Unhappily a Housewife, because I want to help you get closer to that uh, 1,000 mark, right? Because you're, you're 75 people, 76 people away now, so you're getting really close. So I just subscribed to your uh, to your channel there. Okay, so let's see what else we got. And we just had a new subscriber come in. Let's see. If, nope, missed it. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's pull up another channel. So right here, um, if you want me to do your channel, if you want me to do a review, go ahead and drop it in the chat right now. Say, review my channel, review my channel. And I will see what, uh, I'll see what I can do. So go ahead and let's see here. Yeah, so go ahead and just start, just start slamming the comments right now. Say, hey, you know, uh, do my channel, review my channel. Hey, Nick, review my channel. You know, however you want to say it, just go ahead and do it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab one um randomly out of the chat here so let's get this puppy moving yeah i want to see this thing like just cranking we, we got 104 people in here taboo what is going on nice to see you okay let's see here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start opening these up while you guys are are jamming through saying the review to channel so i'm going to start opening some of these up and i'm going to start pre-qualifying so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and i'm going to say okay well this channel is, you know, they seem like they're putting everything together. <clears throat> Excuse me. They seem like they're putting everything together right and, you know, all of that and see if, uh, see if I can pull them up on screen here. Yeah, we're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of them here. Oh, I haven't seen you in here before. I'm going to open yours, see what's going on there. Uh, let's see here. 
Review, please. Review, please. Okay, I'm going to grab one of these. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to go and open up the first one here. Hey, Social Media Tech TV says I have approximately 1430 subs. I will be hosting a live stream as soon as this one is finished. You can check it, check it out all. Okay, please review your music or send me your shirt. <laughs> the Simple Joys. My shirt is in the mail. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what you're doing over there. The Simple Joys. It sounds like you're making some positive stuff over there. So <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a few of these and pop them open. Let's see here. Okay, so here we go. The next up we are going to do is The Social Brook. So I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to you. I've actually looked at your channel before because you've been pretty active in the comment section. So I've looked at your channel before, um, actually. But okay, you have here The Social Brook. Um, good avatar there. You know, you got the color in the background. That's good. Um, you know, as far as grabbing attention is concerned. The Social Brook, um, Beauty, Lifestyle, Health, very clear the type of content that you're making there. So you are good there. You have this, which is also very good. Twitter, Facebook, and your Instagram. That is cool. Okay. So here, let me see how many videos you have. Oh, yeah, you got a lot of content. So, okay. So in your case, um, one thing that I that I always recommend in these quick channel reviews is that you display your content here on your channel page. I went over this a, a little bit earlier, but I'm, I'm going to go over it again for the people that have just jumped into the stream uh, recently. Um, how you have your playlist down here, this is excellent, right? But you also want to take these playlists because you're just, you're just trying to grow your channel right now. You don't have a, a huge following built in yet. And you see a lot of well, you see, not a lot, but you see some big channels doing it this way. So a lot of people try to replicate it, but those big channels are already big. There's so much traffic feeding into their channel and their brand exposure is so huge that they can get away with layouts like this. And it's not that big of a deal for the rest of us that are, that are in the trenches still. And we're trying to grow our channels for the rest of us, making it easy for the viewer to consume our content is what you want to focus on. So one of the things that you want to focus on. So in this situation, how you have your playlist here, um, I would ha I would keep these here, of course, but I would also add more playlists here that showcase more of your content because what you don't want is you don't want people to land on your channel page and then just see a few videos here and then see a few playlists that maybe they're not interested in because they would have to keep scrolling through your playlist that way in order to see them. But if you display the different content, the different playlists, you max this out and you display all the different playlists here, what you're doing is you're making it so when people land on your channel page, all they have to do is scroll down and then they can see a lot more thumbnails, a lot more titles, and a lot more of the content that you offer without having to take any additional steps with the exception of a scroll, which is, you know, that's a pretty lazy action that's kind of built into all of this. So with the addition of a, um, with the addition of a scroll, um, or with the exception of a scroll, that's the only additional step that they have to take. So basically, if you if you display more of your content on your channel, then you can help drive more views into yourself. And like I said, you know, when you're when you're when you have a smaller channel and you're trying to generate that momentum, you know, every view counts, every minute of watch time counts because you're trying to build your authority, you're trying to get more views, you're trying to get that subscriber, right? So if somebody lands on your page and they don't see a lot of, they don't see something that interests them right here, you don't want them to, you don't want them to leave. You don't want them to say, oh, related channels. I wonder what this is about. Oh, hey, this is here. I wonder what this is about, right? You don't, you don't want them to go up here and try to search for something or they notice something that popped up in their subscriptions here and they go and they look there. You know, you, you want them focused on your stuff and you want everything as easy as possible for them to find. So in your case, huge recommendation is to put more playlists on your channel page. And like I said, the reason for that is so that people can see more of your content with less work involved. Because right now, let's say I go here and I click on skin and makeup hacks. Just like the channel that I was going over earlier, you just created one more step that the, that the, that the potential subscriber to your channel 
or the potential viewer for another one of your videos has to take, right? Most people will. Most people will continue with that step, but a lot of people won't because for whatever reason, they'll get distracted by something else. And, you know, oh, you know, hey, Mike Russell, uh, you know, I haven't watched one of his videos in a long time. He's got, you know, uh, you know, 20 more that I need to go look at. You know what I mean? And they get distracted there and, you, and you've lost them. So making it easy and taking out that extra step of coming here and then having to click into another video, um, you know, taking out that, that extra step, of course, you know, they can click here and then they can go right into them um, for those people, which is good, which is why it's important that you still keep these. But having your, your, uh, your thumbnails or, or having your playlists, your page, your channel page laid out in a way that your content is easy to consume is definitely the uh, the way that you want to go because you're gonna you're gonna see the biggest benefit from that. And another thing that I would work on in your case, um, because you you have a beauty channel and you're you're you know you're being um, specific because really you know health and beauty both kind of fall under lifestyle too. So I would definitely work on your branding, um, tightening your branding up a tad. Like for any of the text that you're using, I would make all of that match. I would make your colors. Um, that you're using match, you know, basically build a brand, you know, look online, look into, look into, you know, uh, you know, how to create a brand and, you know, a visual brand, um, you know, look into that, look into how to create a brand too, but look into visually how to create a brand and replicate that um, across all of your, all of your content. Because basically the idea is if somebody was watching this video, right here, I'm going to open this up real quick. If somebody is watching this video, and I say this a lot, like I say this in like almost all of my reviews, um, or at least at least on all of my live streams, I mention this at least once when I'm looking at somebody's channel. But say somebody's looking at your content and they see all of this stuff here, right? They see all of all of these videos here in the side, right? If they can't identify your content as your content, if they liked the stuff that you make, right? Here they know this is you, but they know this is you here because your face is on there. Of course, your channel name is here as well, but there's a reason that the thumbnail is the biggest thing that YouTube focuses on. Title is secondary. The name is so small that it's pretty much irrelevant. And the view count is so small that it's pretty much irrelevant um, as well. So there's a reason that, you know, this stuff is laid out the way that it is. And uh, you basically want to use your thumbnails as a way for people to recognize your content. So if they're like, Oh, hey, you know, I, I really enjoyed this best sunscreen video and they're not going to have, most viewers aren't going to have all of this extra stuff. Let's see if I can close this here. Most view, no, there we go. Most viewers aren't going to have all of this extra stuff here on the side. So they're going to see something more like this, right? Oops. There we go. Yeah, they're going to see something more like this, right? So they're watching your videos and they see this stuff down here. So in your case, right? If they can't recognize your content as your content and they like your stuff and they're looking for more and it and they're just scrolling through here and they're like, hey, I like that video, so I'm gonna watch another one of your videos here, then then you have a chance of losing them. However, if they can identify like like this one, for example, right? Here, there's nothing on here. There's nothing on here that says that this is your content outside of the name itself. And to generate more internal views, because this one, you know, you're crushing on this, you know, three weeks, you got 12,000 views, you're doing great on this video, right? So you want people to know, because you put your face in your videos, you are the personality of your channel, because you want people to know that it's your, more of your content, you don't want a thumbnail like this, because this thumbnail says, okay, hey, this is about a smoothie shake, but there's nothing about you, there's nothing symbolic of you or your channel in this thumbnail. Right. So I, I hope that makes sense. But basically what you want to do is you want to you want to connect the dots for people. You want to make all of this stuff really easy. Like if you look at my channel, you know, that's the reason I'll go there real quick. That's that's the reason that I do my thumbnails in the way that I do. Right. Is because on my old stuff before I actually came back to my channel, I don't have those. Right. And, and I just want to say here real quick, this is so awesome coming to my channel and seeing that 40K right there. That's just, that's just an awesome feeling. And I hope that anybody in the stream that isn't there yet, I hope that you, that you get to this because it's an, it's an awesome thing, especially if you have a community around your channel. It's just awesome. But that's why, like on my channel, to get back on track here, that's why that I have the, you know, the, the same style here is the same style in my thumbnails. It's the same style in my video graphics. Like everything across the board, with the exception of my older content, 
which is only displayed here because it's part of my most popular videos. But with the exception of my older content, all of my new stuff since I came back and I started working on this channel, it all looks the same, right? Even these where my face isn't in there, like that's clearly my style. You know what I mean? And I'm actually, I'm actually going to A-B test these and I'm going to put my face in them as well. I just haven't gotten to it yet um, to where, you know, it's the same style, but, you know, I have this text there um, instead. But that's basically why I keep this all this way and I keep my face as big as possible because when one of my videos shows up on one of your home pages, I want you to say, oh, this is Nick's stuff. I want to go and watch it. Hey, this is Nick's video. I want to go and watch it, right? So that's why it's important to dial in the way that everything looks so that people can identify your content. The people that are into your content can identify your content as your content. So Social Brook, I hope you found that helpful. Next, we are going to move on to J3B Digging in Canada. Okay, <clears throat> J3B, first off, I want to say congratulations, high five on crossing the 1,000 subscriber mark. That is a, let's see what we're up to, 395, cool. Um, I would love to get this to 400 by the time this live stream is over. So if you if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, the link to it is down in the description below, Creator Insights. My voice is going out. <clears throat> creator Insights, the link to that channel is down in the description below. It's a new channel that me and my brother are putting out to help creators learn how to actually make content. That is awesome. And, uh, and to help you spread your brand across social media. So if you're not subscribed already, there's a link down in the description below. Five more people would be awesome so that uh, uh, so we can cross that 400 mark before the stream's over. But yeah, congratulations to you, uh, J3 Digging in Canada, for crossing that 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, for you, same thing applies. I would definitely put more content on your channel page, especially because you have a lot of it. I would also dial in the branding on your uh, thumbnails because all of this is really vague and there's no real branding going on here. So I would definitely dial in the branding on your thumbnails. Um, also, you have Digging in Canada, but I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, showing you my kind of hunting, not with guns, but with a metal detector, recovering and preserving lost history. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so this would fit into the description, I believe. But if not, I would, be, I would, I would hover over, I would leave a comment on a video somewhere on YouTube and I would hover over your name and see how much of this shows up and I would optimize this to show more of, I mean, you have it right, but just to make sure that you're fitting in all of the important information, because this right here isn't important, right? But this, this kind of is, but I would do something like, uh, you know, uh, metal detector videos um, to help you learn or, you know, uh, metal detector videos for recovering and preserving lost history in Ontario, Canada or something like that, because all of this stuff is just kind of wasted um, space and then put anything like that down below but I would optimize it for those for those hovers. Um, let's see here. And I just got a message from my brother from, oh, we did hit it. All right, he just sent me an email saying we hit it 401. Awesome, thanks for your support, guys. Yeah, and like I said, in return, um, you're gonna get some awesome content. So I'm glad that, you know, for all of you all of you that have subscribed to that channel before, you know, before we launch it, you know, you guys are kind of in the VIP on that channel as far as, you know, the reviews are concerned and, you know, stuff like that for that first, you know, big batch of reviews that we're doing because, you know, you're supporting us. So we appreciate that and we will definitely be, uh, you know, appreciative of that, so to speak. Um, but yeah, for you, I would definitely work on your thumbnails, work on your, on your branding in general. I would add more content to your channel page. Um, I would definitely work on your titles as well. Um, like you have here, corn roll fight with silver, right? Like you want to make your content, you want to make your titles things that people are actually looking for. So it's really important that you learn how to optimize your video for search if you really want to, you know, really gain some some additional traction on YouTube. Because you're already, you know, you're doing okay for the amount of videos that you have. Um, but I would, I would still dial it in more. You could make things grow faster and better if you, you know, if you dialed this stuff in. Next up on the list, Brains of Technology Gaming. I'll go ahead and subscribe to you too. First, I'm going to pop into the chat here. Go ahead and just do a quick. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so here, Brains of Technology Gaming. Your channel header doesn't say anything about the type of content that you make. I would, I, that's extremely important. I would definitely do that. 
Same thing here. I'm not sure the amount of content that you have. Let's go look real quick. Okay, you don't even have a lot. But, you know, same thing. And, and this is all, you know, for the quick review again. Same thing I would dial in, you know, what it is that you, you know, I'd dial in your branding for your thumbs and make it clear what it is that you're doing on your channel page or in your channel header. And you definitely need a better um, description than what you currently have. So that's my thing for you. And the simple joys. Family, animals, memory, inspiration, love, and YouTube. Okay, that's good. So you're saying that, you know, your channel basically is about family, animals, memories, inspiration, love, and YouTube. That is good. Um, you have that. Yeah, very good there. Go ahead and subscribe to you also. Epic fail, daydream believer. Yeah, how you're doing your branding here on your thumbs. That is excellent. Definitely keep that up. Yeah, you've got your descriptions here. See, this is again. Yeah, I get tickled pink when I see that people are actually doing this stuff, right? Because it, it, it matters. So it, I get tickled pink when I see that. Yeah, so so you're definitely on the right page here. I, I would I would definitely keep up what it is that you're doing. You know, without, you know, this isn't an in-depth channel review. I'm not, you know, watching all your videos and, you know, things like that to, to give you tips on those. But, you know, at a glance, um, you're on the right path. But just keep in mind that, you know, doing all of this stuff right, you also need to, you know, make sure that you're making solid content as well. So as long as you're making solid content, you know, the rest of what it is that you're doing, um, you're you're definitely on the right page. You know, there's there's a few of them that don't quite fit into that mold as far as with your branding and stuff. But, you know, for the most part, I see that you're making that transition into that type of content or into doing it that way. So you are on the right path there. Okay. So there is that. So now I'm going to, I'm going to come in and I'm just going to hop in the chat here for a minute. All right, let's see here. Now we're going to do some more Q and a just for a few minutes here. Um, before I wrap this up, I'm, I'm going to do some Q and a and answer any other YouTube questions that you have. It's getting late here. My brain's starting to shut down. So, so I need to, I need to, uh, I need to take it back here a little bit. So, uh, so let's see. Am I the only one taking notes? Says Genie, <laughs> Genie Beans. Yeah, that see, that's the that's the thing is if if you go back and you watch the replay on my live streams, right? For for everybody in here right now saying, "Hey Nick, can you review my channel?" For the quick channel reviews that I do for these live streams, the Yuli Armstrong, what is going on? Nice to see you. And there was uh, Tubi, I think, was in here before. I'm not sure if he still is or not. But yeah, like if, if you are if you are watching these channel reviews and you want me to check out your channel, then you should already be like you, when I look at your channel, you should already have the header stuff in place. You should already have your about me page filled out right. You should already have your playlist worked out. You should already have your branding on your thumbs and things like that because, you know, for the ch quick reviews, that's the kind of stuff that I look at because, you know, I can't do like a full deep dive channel evaluation on your channel, you know, in a, in a you know, in a, in a three minute review. You know what I mean? Like those reviews take hours for me to do. So, um, so most of the stuff that I go over with in these, or that I go over in these reviews, a lot of it is just aesthetic stuff, that stuff that you see for that first impression when people land on your channel page and people are, you know, trying to figure out what your channel's about and things like that. It's the surface level stuff, but it's really important that you get that surface level stuff together. And when you do, then you can go into the more deeper stuff as far as, you know, trying to actually, you know, optimize everything, your video structure and everything to try to amplify everything that it is um, that you're doing on your channel. So if you watch, you know, if you've been hanging out for this, live stream all of the things that i went over on the other channels you know it's it's the it's it's the same you know or, or similar stuff it's going to be the similar information when i land on your on your channel page let's see here beanie draw says at simple device um it's saturday night and i know my favorite tuber stream around this time so i stay up for it nice yeah, I usually stay up late too. Like usually after these, like I'll, you know, I'll hang out with my girlfriend for a little bit and we'll like lay around and we'll usually open up somebody's live stream too. Cause I know a lot of people, you know, this, over the weekend, a lot of people stream. So I, I love hopping into other live streams too. You know, it's, it's the whole thing, you know, like being a part of the community. Awesome. I love it. 
Okay, here's a good question. How to make a good thumbnail, says Skeech Tech. So I'm going to hop into my Photoshop real quick just to go ahead and do this because, you know, because I want to. Hey, real quick, this is something that I'm working on just to show you guys. Like, I'm not done with it yet. This is basically some ideas that I'm going to shoot over to my brother um, for the new uh, channel that we're working on. I was doing this before the live stream. But basically, I'm just running through different ideas. I'm just kind of brainstorming right now. So I'm just running through different ideas for, you know, symbolic things that we can do um, with the logo. Because I'm working on the branding right now. But this is just different stuff that I'm putting together. And, of course, I scale this down to see how it will look. Um, on a channel page, if it'll be easy to read. That's super easy to read, so something like that is probably what we're going to end up going with. But I like this, too. Um, something like that, you know, with a little light bulb on there, that looks kind of cool because we're giving insight, you know, into, you know, creating stuff. So the main logo will end up being something square, more along those lines. But, uh, you know, I make the cover here, the little masking cover, um, just so that I can see what it will look like as a circle on on YouTube and any other platform that makes for a... Um, circular logo. So yeah, let me um, let me close this real quick, and then I will I will show you just a quick crash course on making a logo, or not a logo. I'm sorry, but making. A, uh, so you can tell my brain's starting to shut down. A quick crash course on making a good thumbnail. So this thumbnail here. Oh, got to turn my thing back on. This thumbnail here is something that I put together. I, I had in my Facebook group, um, which is if you just go to Facebook and you type in YouTube uh, and video tips, my Facebook group will come out or come up. But basically, you know, I had some people in my Facebook group and I've had some people in my comment sections lately asking me um, uh, how to do a 24 hour, seven day a week live streaming setup inside of OBS. So I threw this thumbnail um, together, right, for that. And because this this channel, the Tuber Tools channel, isn't something that I'm branding. It's just something that I'm putting together. If I got it to like 100 subscribers, then I would I would probably live stream there all the time. Um, just random stuff because it's not something that I'm actually trying to build, but just random stuff. Um, but anyway, like uh, uh, for that particular channel, it's not something that I'm trying to, to brand per se. Um, but I'm, I'm still going to uh, get a basic look together. But as far as the actual thumbnail is concerned, here's the idea. When you make your thumbnail, right, if you're branding yourself, then you want you definitely want your picture in the thumbnail, right? If you're branding, if you're not doing yourself, if you are doing a certain type of game, if you're doing like GTA, then you want characters from GTA in your thumbnail. You know, you want those visual references to what type of content it is that you make. If you're adding text to your thumbnail, then you also want to make your text easy to read, right? You want to make the whole thing attention grabbing. That's why I use the colors that I did. And you also want to make your thumbnail easy to read when it's small. So if you look at this right here, if this shows up on a mobile device, it's still super easy to read 24 seven live streaming setup, right? So this right here would be a good thumb because it's attention grabbing it clearly states what the person's going to get when they click on it. And it's branded here with Tuber Tools as well. So technically, let's say on that channel, if I wanted to, let's say I do like red as the background for um, live streaming. And then let's say that I change that to, um, I'm just going to do something quick here for the sake of the demo. But let's say that I changed the background to blue for let's say you know like youtube tips or something like that right and then i changed it to like a green or you know something like that to where um you know it would separate the different playlists based on the different type of content that it is but in a nutshell to make a good thumbnail you just want it to be clear right if you're if if you're making the type of content where you're not using text on your videos which is totally cool um, then in that case, you would basically want to focus on a picture that's attention grabbing. And by attention grabbing, I mean something that tells the story of what your video is about. And even in that case, I would definitely still put some type of branding element on there so that they can tell, you know, that it's associated with, um, with your particular, with your particular channel. But in a nutshell, 
you know, without without going, you know, too deep into it because there are a lot of elements that make for a for a really good thumbnail. Um, but without going too deep into it, that's like a crash course on you know making sure that you are making good um, thumbnails. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and wrap this stream up. And I just want to say thank you because, yeah, my brain, if you can't tell, my, I'm, my brain has just went ahead and wrapped it up for me <laughs> because it's, uh, it's one of those, it's one of those, uh, one of those days. Oh, yeah. Um, Dollar Dude says, hey, Nick, if we'd like to get a more in-depth review, how can we contact you for that? Um, in the description of this video, you should see, let me make sure I put it in there. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see in the description of this video, it says for a paid in-depth channel evaluations, um, you can contact me at asknimmon at gmail.com. Um, so I do, I do the YouTube consulting. I do channel reviews. I do software training, you know, things like that as well. So um, any of that stuff that you're interested in, you can definitely find it in the comment section. Um, or not the comment section, but the description area in the uh, in this video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out in this video, in this live stream. Thank you for helping me breach that 40,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate having you a part of my channel. I appreciate having you a part of my live streams. I'm starting to see a lot of familiar faces um, in these live streams. And that makes all of this even, even more awesome. So, so you know, I, I love doing these now on Saturdays because I know that there's going to be people in there that I see on a regular basis and, and I love it. So thank you for hanging out in the live streams. All, you know, Doug Helson, for example, um, uh, costume cinematographer, uh, uh, Razman's reality, uh, Brian D. Johnson, who stopped in here earlier, um, Justin Bennett, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to find more names here, but you know, like all of you, you know, you know who you are, all, all the people that, you know, are in here on a regular basis. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being a part of the community here. Thank you for helping me cross that line. I, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me to have you guys a part of this community. So yeah, my voice survived for sure. And I'm actually going to take another swig of water to try to help kickstart my brain. There we go. And we just got a new subscriber too. New subscriber is AA13 Gamer. If you're in the stream, welcome to the stream. Costume Cinematographer says that they cannot hear. Huh. That's interesting. Can you hear now? Can you hear now? Okay. Hey, bro. Cheers. Nick, I just put it on yours. Thanks so much for everything, Nick. My pleasure. Thank you. Sandy Couch, thank you. I appreciate it. You're just coming into the end of the stream, but it's cool. It's cool. Great live stream, Nick. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wow, Pale Rider, you've been in here since uh, since before we went live. You've been in here as long as I have. Actually, yeah, about as long as I have. And we've been running for two hours and 32 minutes right now. So thanks for hanging out, man. So yeah, guys, um, if you are not already subscribed to me, and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so that you don't miss anything. Also, um, if you are not already a member of TuberTools, make sure that you head over to tubertools.com slash members and get signed up over there as well. There's uh, video graphics in there, and I'm also doing monthly training videos as well as um, adding a lot more um, additional training stuff in there that I'm creating right now as well to help you learn how to do different things um, in YouTube. And Dana, what is going on, my man? Nice to see you. Hey, um, we need to talk soon because uh, for the new channel that I'm working on with my brother, um, we, we want to have some, uh, some uh, in-person interviews too. So we're going to be reaching out to a lot of people in the area. Um, and you are definitely on that list. So, um, so I want to catch up with you soon and talk to you about that um, as well, my man. So you guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. Make sure that you check out all of the stuff in the description. You subscribe to my new channel. You check out Tuber Tools. Um, you watch more playlists on the mobile streaming because that's available to everybody now with 100 subscribers or more. It's official. So make sure that you check out all of the stuff um, that is down in the description as well. The Facebook group, if you just go to Facebook, you type in YouTube and video tips, then that will take you to the Facebook group as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're going to be doing the videos and creator insights in about four to six weeks. 
Um, we're getting everything together right now so that we can have a, you know, a big opening. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.